Me Levin. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to MechCast Reacts Death Battle Volume 11. Today, we're going to be starting off with something a wee bit different. Just Ooh. a wee bit, not entirely different. Just a tiny, tiny uh, detour. So, yes. and we'll try, 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 I'll explain. So, recently, and you may know, know of this if you watch Death Battle, they did the first ever community poll. And if you're a YouTube <laughs> member, you would get to vote between two different uh, categories. So, a 2D episode and a 3D episode. So, real quickly, we are going to... Um, Say what matchups we want and what we think will win. So, uh, Alex, you go first. Okay. Uh, before I go, Ben, check the gain on your microphone. I think it might be set a little bit too uh, high. Um, hang on. Me personally. Is this better? Uh, turn it all the way down, then turn it to about. Oh, uh, better? Earlier. Better. I said all the way down, not all the way up. Better? Okay. So. Oh, um, just set it back the way you had it. So, I'm hoping for right. Captain America versus Kamen Rider Ichigo, because I love both of hey. those characters, and I think that would be really good. I think what's probably going to win is Bill versus Discord, because so? Gravity Falls and My Little Pony are shockingly still more popular than you'd think they would be. And, yeah. um... Then you have... right. Yeah. Then... My second, my second pick would probably be Kyle Rayner versus Simone the Digger, or because I yeah. think that I think that one probably has the. Oh, who am I fucking kidding? It's gonna be Among Us versus Fall Guys. I was trying to argue this <laughs> rationally. I was trying to argue this rationally, but Among Us versus Fall Guys is gonna win this. Whoop oh, whoop. whoop just whoop, just out whoop, of pure whoop. memeage. All right, all right. Um, Kevin, you go next. Let me see hey, what we got here. Hold on. Let's see. Now, I personally would love to see Kyle Rayner versus Simone the Digger, but like Alex said, and we all know it's going to be Among Us and the Fall Guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm, There's I'm literally the no contest. Yeah. I'm, I agree no with you, uh, Kevin. It's got to be Kyle versus Simone. Uh, it's gotta be. It's got. I, I want that, but it's gotta be Among Us. It's going to be the meme one. The meme Moan. man. The, I don't know about you guys, but this poll seems sus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Bruh. All right. I guess Bruh. Mo, you're up. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's. I actually was gonna say it's the exact thing. Uh, Among Us versus Fall Guys. It will probably be the number one picked out because they, these are both meme games. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many. It doesn't matter how many patches the games will have. It doesn't matter if the if it's dying or reviving. At the end of the day, it's just gonna be picked out because it's the funny meme choice. I mean, as much as I want Captain America to get another death a chance at death bow, and as much as I love Kyle Rayner as opposed to Hal or John Stewart. Let's face it. At the end of the day, it's going to be Among Us versus Fall Guys. It's to going to be, be fair, Among Us versus um, Fall Guys. Maybe Bill versus Discord, but it's going to be Among Us versus Fall Guys. I like at the at like the top of the most voted. Yeah, I mean to be fair, a lot of these matches are probably going to happen next season. It's season eleven. Or conspiracy, who? But that's just my opinion. Uh, RGS that's Europe. happened before. That's happened. Yeah. Before. Uh, right. So first off, tell me, is Common Rider and. Uh, Captain America in 2D or 3D? 2D. 2D. Right, okay. So let me just tell you this off. Kyle Rayner versus Simone. I think that's going to win. I think, I think so. it will be a meme, a meme uh, matchup. I mean, because I do think big. people want to see those two guys fight. But I do want to see uh, Captain America versus uh, Ichigo because I think Here's... it's a more interesting fight. Here's my take on that, why I think it's kind of unlikely, because there's a lot more unification behind this one against the me matchup versus, like, Kyle, Finn, and Jake, and Bill, because those are all three super popular matchups. So a lot of the vote is going to be split between those three, while a lot of the vote is probably just going to go to this one overall. Yeah, what's so, sad yeah about basically. Yeah. What's it's sad like about an indie, it's, like an in, it's, like, it's like an independent running an election. It's going to squeeze some of the votes away, and then the other person will win because of it. That, that's that's fair. That's fair, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll I see. I would love to see Kyle to win, but we'll see. 
what's a little sad I, about these votes is that we know Ori versus the versus the knight is not really going to be a top priority. Yeah, yeah. and that's, I mean, yeah, that's a little sad. Knight, I would be surprised if that one wins. Yeah, if that I one even gets a handful happen, of votes, but... that'll be amazing. Even, even I mean, if I would take yeah. top priority. It's probably going to be like a very short episode because this unlike, one, uh, this <laughs> unlike Earthbound, unlike uh, like the unlike what was it called Undertale. Uh, these aren't these guys aren't really getting that many requests to be in a death battle. Let's face it. Yeah, I haven't really no. seen much of a push. I know there's some people pushing it. It's probably got like a few dozen votes, but that's it. I mean, it's a great matchup. I would love to see in season eleven, sure. but we're probably not. But okay, let's wrap this up. Jam, you're up. Hi. Um. First of all, I would hi. Um. Would love to see Adventure Time versus a uh, regular show, only because. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the better one of the revival era? Personally, regular show is better than Adventure Time. Hot take. Yes, but it's true. We though. all know. Let's be real. It's going to be Among Us versus Fall Guys. Just for me. Oh, it's... <laughs> I love how everyone's but, in agreement. It, except it, it, I remember. Yeah. But it, you know. but but to be fair, so they're saying there's a chance. See Smash Four. See Smash Four battle. Battle, for example. There, there's always a chance. Yeah. One of them might pull an upset over Among Us, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah. But literally, so like, like if you all know the story about the Smash 4 Violet. It's, yes, it's yes. Awful. We don't need it. We know. We know. Here's we know the story. My, here's another thing that no, I have no, to bring no, up. No, that, that's off topic. I, we'll, okay. We, the, Before we, we move on, it. I just want to make a side note. I remember liking Adventure Time more than regular show back in the day, but regular show has aged a hell of a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love oh. both shows, but regular show has aged a lot better. But yeah, um, we just I mean, start with the three D one. So it, it, it actually got a, like a literal. It kind of got a, like a spinoff with uh, not not a spinoff, but like like another show that that has the same actor as from uh, Mordecai. Like what, what was it? What's it called? Hmm. Close enough. Okay, so yeah, close enough. Thank you for the three D yeah. champions poll. I think I think the best one out of these. Would either be Steve versus Emmett or Cole McGrath versus Alex Mercer, or and obviously Spy versus Agent Forty Seven, who would be really good. But like of the of the ones that are here, I think Steve versus Emmett and Cole McGrath versus Alex Mercer are the two who, that are most likely to win. But I desperately want to see uh, want to see Spy versus Agent Forty Seven because I think that would be really fun. They're t they're totally going to do that in season eleven. I at have some no point doubt. I have That's a feeling they're probably one. gonna do all of these, like you said. It yeah, was these uh, are Ghidorah all versus so Deathwing good. would be interesting to see, but I just don't care. Here's my thing on this list. I feel like the th out of the three that are gonna get like the most votes, it's Cole McGrath uh, versus Alex yeah. Mercer, Kratos versus Osura, and Steve yeah. versus Emmett because uh, Cole versus Alex has been requested. Since practically the beginning of Death Battle, uh, Kratos versus Osura, it makes sense considering they have like one I game remember. each. No, well, not ca well, Ragnarok. You know, it just came out, but they had just yeah. have a, they have just enough lore to back up their the characters. And here's a Kratos funny. Is, here's a God of War is still popular too. And the final thing I have to say, Steve and Emmett, Minecraft is still going. Legos are. Still Still popular. I feel like the only thing, reason why this is even an option is because of Steve. Oh. Steve Funny was that. always here's the, the funny. No, here's yeah. the here's the funny thing. Hang on, here's a funny thing. Steve and Emmett on the ballot. This particular matchup was never suggested, but they had different combatants, so they just kind of like, oh hey, Steve and Emmett are on the ballot. Let's just put them together because it, it makes, makes sense. sense, and it does. It, does. it makes it sense. Does. But the thing is, I feel like this is going to be the meme choice when it comes to the nah, three death I don't, battle. No, no, think no, about no, it. No, think on, about it like this. On. Think about it like this. People were always jokingly saying, "Oh, well, we want Steve and Sora in Smash Brothers." Who they nobody expected either of them to be in Smash Brothers. Fun it's just going to be like that. Steven, they're like, "Oh, why don't we just put Steve in Death man. Battle?" It's like nobody's going to expect that. In Death Bow. So they're probably gonna the moment they saw this, they probably are gonna vote Steve versus Emmett. Nah, I don't if not agree, but, uh, hang on, hang on, but we need to we Emmett. need to keep going. We need to keep going. Uh Kevin, who do you think will win and what do you want? I want King Ghidorah versus Deathwing just because I want a giant monster fight that's actually a better animated than Godzilla versus Gamera. That's a great I, one. I, Boy. I get the feeling I get the feeling that either either Cole McGrath effort versus Alex Mercer or or Emmett versus Steve is going to win. 
Now, Ben, and I'm one, going to need you to bring up the link that I sent you when we get what? done with Wait, this. What did you send me? I, I put didn't something see in broadcast link. chat. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not the, going. To, I don't yeah, know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, prototype versus. We're not. Challenge. We're not. We're I don't not doing this. Click anything. Oh, uh, I'm going next. Me. Hang on. I'm yeah, going next. Funny. Um, I want. Out of all of them, yeah, I want Cole McGrath versus Alex, and that one's going to win. People have been fighting for that for over a freaking decade. Since season one, this has been one of their most requested matchups. And there's been a huge campaign for this episode just to get onto this ballot. And people yeah. will fight to hell and heaven to get this made. So I doubt any of these, even like this one, would be able to be it. Also, uh, Kratos is infinite speed and scaling, and that's that's not even a joke. <laughs> I mean, Osra fought a guy that was literally the size of a galaxy. So do yes, yes, yeah. So Kratos yes, is still is taking a massive L. No, well, he's fair, actually he just as strong, of, if not stronger. To be fair, Kratos literally killed a god from the inside, like literally. Yeah, it, I would. I wouldn't Kronos? discount. I, Kratos, we, no, we no, do we not discount the gods that uh, Kratos killed inside. He's a titan, not an actual god. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, that would be so interesting. Kronos is I, Kratos I think... granddad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah, think I, this one's that one would be really interesting because they're it's evenly matched in some regard. But yeah, this is one, this is the one I think is going to win. But um, yeah, um, a Gizmo. Oh, who do you think will win? And uh, who do you want? Uh, man, uh, what I really want, uh, honestly, I haven't played Infamous or Prototype enough for me to want them. But who I really do want is Spy versus Agent Forty Seven because you got one who's from a game that's got that's practically a joke a universe in and of itself versus a guy who's got who's in a very serious and realistic universe so i like yeah. to see yeah. how that I plays a, out i have a feeling but, that spy would win that one yeah, yeah he so might too, but it would be interesting to see it either way sort of like how uh, booster gold went up against cable but that was a who great I, one but who i really think is going to win honestly is either Cole McGrath or versus Alex Mercer or Steve versus Emmett because like I said mm. in the beginning Steve is like the meme choice so yeah, man, yeah. so I really Steve. don't think people are, <laughs> so I really don't think people are going to turn away and be like uh, Steve from Minecraft whatever the fact that he's on the list is what people are going to be uh, turning their heads for like whoa wait Steve is going to fight in death battle I guess too that's what's going to people uh, gonna get people turning their heads and vote for him because the fact he's in death battle at all so, if anything, mm. it's going to be... What I want is Spy vs. Agent 47, but uh, to me, I think it's either going to be Cole McGrath versus Alex Mercer or Steve versus Emmett, because one's right. a big choice, like I said, and another one has been requested for years, like ever since right. the beginning of Death Battle. Alright, well, let's go through this quickly. Um, RGS, you're up. Right, so the one I want to win is the one I think is going to win, so is it cool if I say the second one I, I want? Sure. Right, so the one I think is going to win is obviously Alex versus Cole, and I really want it to win because it's a really interesting matchup that I would actually like to see animated. I don't really care if they get shit wrong for once because I think they will, but I'm, I'm all in for it. I want it. I'm digging it. But the second that I want is um, actually Kratos versus Asura because, as mentioned before, they have enough lore and feats to match up against each other really well. Especially since Asura is pure power, whereas uh, Kratos, thanks to uh, Ragnarok, Ghost of Sparta, and a lot of other side games and stuff, has enough to actually match him blow from blow. And obviously, his infant speed, as uh, Ben's mentioned before, it's just yeah, really I... good. I'm, I'm <laughs> down for it. The I second one to I do... win is the versus Emmett because it is a meme. But yeah, um, I will say the Kratos speed thing. Um, that's because he scales to someone who went through like an infinite space. I think it was hell in like a short amount of time. Which Mercury? Is, uh, no, wait, yeah, I think it, was it Mercury? It might have been. I'm trying no, to, I think I'm it's trying to God. That's my bad. Yeah. Hermes. So Hermes, even then, like uh, someone did, someone did send me a second number. It was like a quintillion million billion something of how fast he could be if it wasn't infinite space but still it's really fast I'm okay sit I, I uh, jam you're up. oh wait so that it's just oh, because yes right, right okay jam you're up okay 
So, we all know who's going to win. Let's be real on this. Um, Steve versus Emmett. Because literally, Steve literally broke Water with Smash Ultimate. So, yeah, he's going to win. Let's be real on that. And still is kind of my number one pick of who I want to see. And number two would be Spy versus Agent 47. Because I love, I love me some T. Team Fortress and Team Fortress 2, but yeah. We need, Steve yeah, really, it's been a long Steve, overdue for Steve, that Steve, series. Yeah. Uh, Steve uh, literally broke. Make up for the, fucking. Uh, hook. Yeah, Steve literally broke. Broke when he. Got, yeah. He, when he, when he, when he got revealed for Smash Ultimate, he literally broke Twitter. So yeah. We know. Yeah. yeah. Let's be real. He's going to win. And beat the fuck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see, but for now, no. it's time. Oh, damn it, Ben. Mm. I wanted you to pull up that thing. Oh, because they are because somebody no, already answered. Somebody already answered who would win Cole McGrath versus Hey Hot Oh, yes, 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 okay. yes, I know these two people. Uh, I know these two people. Wait, wait, oh, wait oh, guys. Oh, I guess I'm you could a good stay ass second fan. Let's go. It is an actual second seven matchup. Let's go. Wait, what you saying, Kevin? Second seven Kevin, matchup. Hang on, hang on. Let me talk, Kevin. What are you saying? Would you say that this, this pick was predictable? No, uh, not predictable. Predictable! What fact is the second seven matchup? In my house with your yep. blood. All right, I'm going to start the episode. And literally, Let's do this. And literally, one in the care. And Geese is busted. Hayachi, I don't know, but I've seen, I've seen him in Tekken World Tour. So, yeah. Hey, Hachi, Good ass Tekken. Yeah. Good ass Tekken. That's what's hard. Geese Howard, my boy. Geese Howard, who is an American weeb. Yes, <laughs> I was introduced I to. I was introduced to Mr. Goose by the uh, SNK versus Capcom Card Fighters DS game. One day, I was actually introduced to Sun by the uh, Tekken. I saw Ben at the Sages review of the um, of the Tekken OVAs. <laughs> oh boy. Oh God, the Tekken. The first animated yeah. Tekken movie was good. The li the first yeah. live action Tekken movie was okay. The second Not live Tekken, action Tekken um, movie uh, is weird. King of Fighters. And then by the way, I'm the only Fighters, one who uh, loves who is right. Was for once was hang on, was once accidentally turned into a bear. What the fuck? What, so Tekken has, is weird. Yeah, that's that's weird. The Tekken ending. <sighs> so I was uh, anybody seen the live Tekken action by King of Fighters movie? No, I have I not seen not. the live-action King of Fighters. I've actually seen the live-action King of Fighters movie, and I can tell you right now, it's really, really fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not good. Like, Terry's a cop now? Terry Bogart, Why? FBI. Yeah, hey. that, doesn't, that does not really sound right to me. By the way, it reports to the same um, division as Agent Hitler. By the way, I was kind of introduced to the lore of Tekken through Spoonie's review of the Tekken anime movie. Yep, same. And... Funny thing, I was actually introduced um, to Tekken through the I'm the one who grew up with Tekken and watched the Tekken World Tour, so I'm kind of, I really am in in Tekken. Like, like I, I, I love watching some good ass Tekken. Te Remember when Chelsea, Kazuya Chelsea. was the good guy? Was he though? <laughs> well, technically, he was the protagonist. <laughs> oh I love how their family just throws each other off of cliffs just because. Also, shout out to yeah. Murata. God bless, with... God bless Harada. God bless you, Harada. Yeah. What the fuck? What, what? the fuck? <laughs> yep. 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 That? that happened. That happened. What was that? Yep. How? Why? That happened. What? He hates his son. He yes. legit hates his he son. Really, he really hates his son. Jesus Christ. He, even, he hates his grandson just as badly, if not worse. <laughs> People seem to forget that he no, fucking he fought Soul Calibur characters. He hates characters. his son and he hates his grandson. He, he hates his family. Then why did he and get way, married? Sharpen his Sharpen hair. His hair. I, love, <laughs> I love that. Oh, I cannot get used to that. <laughs> and, and can we talk okay, about first? Hang on, first, wait a second. Yes. Uh, can we talk yes. about how uh, Akuma is canon to Tekken? Yes. 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 What about and how same thing with um, is Howard. it? And, and, and same thing with Negan. Yeah, I was Negan gonna say, is isn't it? Ah, he could bite a fucking axe. I remember that one. No, he can't just bite a fucking axe. He buy he bit an axe oh, as it yes. was going towards him. And then Tech he ate it. 
Oh God! Oh my God! That's is that? Okay. Yeah, Ron, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> One yeah, more yeah, player. That, that legit totally happened. Dead, in guys. Five. That legit happened in five. That legit almost happened in five. Yep. Damn. Dear God, so God didn't do that. is fucking weird. Good ass Tekken for a reason, dude. It's a good ass Tekken. It's good ass Tekken. Look at him, look at Akuma. Oh my God. <laughs> who had to get down on who to get at this matchup to happen? <laughs> it's a literal matchup in Tekken Seven. Seven I want to say, uh, rip. I want to say, rip Tekken versus Street Fighter. You will oh, be yeah. Yeah. rip. Rest in but peace. who's excited for Tekken Eight? I am. Me. What? I, 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 I'll, I'll check it out. Phoenix. It looks good. I have what? owned a what? total of one. <laughs> the fuck? They're comparing Hey Hachi Mishima. <laughs> <to him. laughs> yeah. This, hey, as one of Harada said, don't ask me for shit. Don't ask me for shit. <laughs> if there's gonna be a Tekken live action movie again, we have they have to cast Elon Musk as Hey Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I would love that. Hey Hachi, just survive like, it on it down. 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 Even survive the Kuma's raging demon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. By the way. True. By the way, did you know that they made two live-action Tekken films? What? Yes. People say that those were the good Tekken movies. The, they are oh, wrong good. about the second one. But, but is it so? Uh, is it? Is it? Is it so bad? It's good. Not really. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, we already had a Street Fighter versus Tekken battle in um in an earlier okay, season so of Death Battle. There is a okay, so the the <laughs> second Tekken me. movie <laughs> what? Oh, is Kazuya. called Kazuya's oh, Revenge. Oh my god, that is hilarious! Kazuya AKA, AKA Tekken a man called X. Oh yeah, literally like I would recommend you guys be all time like. Go watch it. Go oh watch it. Like, no! That was the most ah! hilarious ending ah! that I've ever seen in Tekken. Excellent. 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 God, I love the uh, uh, he hates Shadow. No, but seriously, like, if you all want to watch hype ass Tekken, <laughs> Tekken shit, go watch. Go watch Twitch.tv slash second at uh at any time. The funny the the tournaments are amazing. They like, are man. If you if you hear good ass Tekken, then you know then you know. Good ass Tekken. Yeah, i yeah, I doubt Hey Hachi's really dead. Yep. 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 <laughs> Dude, he's like his revenge what? made nine grand at the box office. Ooh. Oh boy. Yikes. That's that's a big oof. Uh, let's get you there. Oh, oh, my boy, my boy. Oh, hey. He was, hey, was second 7 DLC. How you doing? When we're talking SNK, top to uh, my favorite SNK villains, it's always Geese. Very heroes. I somehow guessed the ending to the Tekken, or not the Tekken movie, Um, the... Uh, the Fatal Fury animated movie. Dude, I love those movies. I still got the original VHS tapes. You should get the Discotech Blu-ray. What? <laughs> <now? laughs> but was yeah, that the is, guy, was that the S fucking S emperor oh, wait, from no, wait, Warhammer? Hang on, hang on. Sometimes appears in people's nightmares. <laughs> that's canon. That's yeah, canon. That's <laughs> that is canon. <laughs> and I think he's S or A tier in Tekken 7. S or A, I don't remember. Well, I mean, considering the fact S. that he has one of the best parries imaginable, that's that's not hard no, to yeah. you, can, you can actually get me. You can still have his meters from um, from the SMK games. Predictable. Aiki Jutsu is not hard soft. Aiki Jutsu mean, means the the yielding way. 
It's too easy. Die forever. Uh, why didn't they get an American voice actor for Urgis in Tekken 7? Why would you eat? Oh, Hakioku Shaken, they actually mentioned this. I mean, they got, they got, they had to pay all that money to get Negan, to get Negan's voice actor into Tekken 7, yeah, so why not? Yeah, but Urgis was announced before him. Can you imagine, like, how, like, hell was to get Negan from Walking Dead again in Tekken 7? I prefer so, no, with the No, hang on, you talk about that, but here's the thing, there's... There's Negan versus Noctis. This is real. Yeah, basically. Yep. The Final Fantasy character is or is overpowered in the Tekken universe. God, yeah. man, look at and that. Meanwhile, and, meanwhile, like, and meanwhile, Negan almost killed the entire Tekken universe. Somehow. Yep. Never really got why of all the... Fucking Jeff. Characters. Fucking hate Jeff. Hey, don't be hating Jeff. He gave us Terry and Andy Bogard. Well, actually, no, just Terry Bogard. I thought Andy was Terry's brother. Yeah, they are. By blood. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, girl. <laughs> He would I mean, have the ego, though. He, would, he really yeah, would. That ego. My waifu is me! Yes! Look at him. He's beating up Tekken characters. He's, di he's doing it. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> no, my boy Terry. Wow. Terry wins. Oh, I remember that song. Fatal <laughs> Fury has not singing, uh, Alex. Oh, oh. I will pull out my guitar and play that song. Please. That was at the end of the uh, Fatal Fury motion picture, actually. That is yep. a great movie. It yeah. is. By the way, Gizmo. Oh, that's yet that's yet another movie we wish you were are there for. You can find our commentary for it on my other channel. I had to think for a second if we did that before or after. We did that before. We did a commentary oh, yeah. on that movie. I love that no. movie. Meanwhile, Ge yep. Meanwhile, Geese Howard literally almost killed himself for for a smash invitation. Fun fact. What the yep. fuck? What? No, what the again. fuck? No. Yeah, what? no, literally, it, yes. it happened in Terror Trail. Yeah, you it thought happened the Tekken universe was crazy? Yeah, he God literally damn. almost killed himself in the Smash Trailer for Terry Smash Trailer, killing himself for the Smash Trailer. That, that's fun fact. Terry, my boy. Terry wins! Okay! By the way, fun fact, Gizmo, the guy who voiced Terry Bogard in the um, Tekken OVA is and in the motion picture. He also voices Quicksilver Sir. in. There he goes. In, in um, Ter Terry Bogard wasn't that, in the that Tekken OVAs. That was a reference, by the no, way. No, no, that I was, was a reference. Fatal, no, I said Fatal Fury. Yeah, no, you said Tekken. Whatever. <laughs> Fatal Fury. Yeah. Fatal Fury OVAs. In the Fatal Fury OVAs and in in the Fatal Fury movie. All right, guys. Animation. Terry Bogard starting. is voiced by the same guy who voices Quicksilver in Wolverine and the X Men. All right, cool. well, guys, it's animation. Let's watch the animation oh. now. <laughs> this is going to be good. This is a good one. I've actually looked him up. He doesn't really do much Gizmo. in voice acting. Gizmo. Yeah, I know. That's kind of a shame. Good ass. What? Good ass. Welcome. How you doing? Okay, so we're uh, apparently shooting Blim. this battle in the final boss fight from Resident Evil 5. Yes. Second 5. <laughs> Hey, yeah, you're right. It is the second five stage. I was talking <laughs> more about. Yes, yes. Let's. Let's go. The second seven, seven intro. Let's go. Oh, I love you that they kept this English. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> love that. Hey, Piggy Medicine. Pay no attention to my ah! voice. Ah! I spend a ah! giant weep. No, my accent not racist. 
<laughs> I am predictable, I swear. Look at me. I can fit to and put me in Tekken 7, I swear. Rapuken. Double Rapuken. <sighs> I, I, uh, oh. I have a good matchup against you. Oh. No? <laughs> I have a favorable matchup you in Jacket 7, I swear. I know that. Ooh. I'm one of the best characters still. <laughs> that's true. No, that's actually true. <laughs> 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 that's great. Don't you say it. Predictable. <laughs> oh! Uh. I wish this, this was the, the real Geese vs. Heiaji matchup in Tekken 7. That would have been so much awesome. That would be awesome. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> yes! Ooh! And those Street Fighter parry sounds. Yes. Yeah, basically. Ooh! That's your. Uh, oh, look oh, at that I shot! That That's so cool! View. Oh! Oof. Throw man. <laughs> <laughs> if he's going down, you're coming with him. Oh! 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 Damn. Oh man, what a way to go. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. damn. <laughs> oh, yes. that was badass. That was badass. Yeah. It's time for a death battle. Yes. Honestly, I thought it was kind of a hey, let's listen. Battle. Let's listen to their Bitch. analysis. To the limit. But Heihachi just had the greater limits to push. Larry Wiz, this one was obvious. One of them throws people off cliffs, the other has people throw him off cliffs. <laughs> not, uh, no duh. In fact, Geese's wider variety of chi techniques weren't able to keep Heihachi at a distance, and his ability to draw chi from the earth meant he could spam them for as long as he wanted. But Heihachi has had plenty of experience with projectile spammers like Kazuya, whose lasers are fast enough to reach outer space in seconds. He'd have no trouble getting in close. Heihachi's decades of combat training over Geese also allowed him to learn and adapt to his Aiki Jutsu. He's even defeated Aikido masters like Nina Williams before, so it wasn't entirely new to him. Ultimately, it came down to who was stronger, faster, and tougher. Of how the uh, the Tekken universe is quite. I literally where everybody speaks their native languages, yet they could somehow understand what everybody's saying. <laughs> yep. I actually kind of find it pretty funny because Hell, of the understanding. They, they literally understand a ja two Jaguars. Two They're jaguars. not really Jaguars, though. That's just our mask. Yeah, I know. I know. They're Jaguars. Damn, people. that's a lot of TNT. But, Ooh, look at that. Look at the difference. Close. That's, yeah. Hell, they even understand a kangaroo. With boxing gloves. And it's yeah. Joey also has boxing gloves. Oh, that's a lot of TNT. Funny thing, though, in the SNK universe, all the fighting games are canon to each other. Yeah. And I mean, all. Same thing with Tekken. Same thing with Tekken. What about Tekken, all the though, That's got its own universe, about, though. It's not, fatal, it's not canon with like any other fighting games. I don't know um, if Fatal Fury, the motion picture, is canon into anything. Yeah, Boomstick Pod. Actually, funny thing, it's not. The Fatal Fury, the motion picture, is not canon ah, to anything. Ah, boo, which is Boomstick, a boo. Also, also, shout, also, shout, before, shout out before we, we uh, break this list. Shout, <laughs> shout out to Hayashi be, being, uh, being Geese Howard, and literally the matchup is, mm. is completely different. The matchup in Tekken 7 is completely different. Where, all right, all right, we need to... Where, where uh, what's it called? Okay. Time for a death battle. Let, let, let's, be, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Put that shit on top. Yep. Um, not the, the very top. top. Not the very top. Oh, wait, Not wait. the top. Hang on, hang on. Let's go, hang let's on. go one by one. Alex, where would you put it? Okay, so... 
I'm going to put this below Wario and DDD. I like it. I like it yeah. a lot. It's not Wario and DDD good. I'm going to put it right below I it. I agree. Fair. Um, Kevin. Unfortunately, on the official list, that also puts it above something uh, that I, I prefer. But, you know. Um, I just... I ended up wanting to just put it in like worthy death. That's mostly just due to the fact really? that I haven't really gotten too much into either of these fighting games, so it's hard for me to really be care all too much about these guys. Bro, but I, told I know, you, I've, but I've tried I know, to talk to you about that. But I know enough about them to get a somewhat understanding, and I thought the battle was, you know, good. It wasn't anything too spectacular. It was just really good. First two Fury movies are right. so. Um, I agree so with Alex. De so... so worthy death above Deadpool versus Deathstroke. Oh, boy, Fair. the fact that All you right. put it that low. All right. Um, I already gave my. Um, I already agree with Alex. So Gizmo, let's try and make this quick. Yeah, it's time for a death battle. It belongs right where it does. I would put it on mm -hmm. above Wario versus DDD, but the fact is, those are two entirely, two entirely different uh, kinds of fights. Mm -hmm. So it's fair where it is. Yeah, uh, RGS, where would you put it? Um, I would also put it at Worthy Death because it's just a really solid fight. Just the issue with me was the, uh, the only one, one bit of thing I didn't like was that the Rapuki was so slow when, uh, when Geese threw it against, uh, Heihachi at the mountainside. It just felt really mm -hmm. slow and I felt like Heihachi would be able to dodge it. But I understand it's because, uh, the pacing for that was a bit iffy because he had literally just been thrown to the mountain. It's just the cut made it look really weird and really slow. Otherwise, it's just a really solid fight overall. I really enjoyed the custom sprites they made. They fit the characters really well. And uh, yeah, solid death. I don't know where I would put it. I guess you could put it above um, Deadpool versus Deathstroke, yeah, because it was just a much more solid 2D fight, and the death is really good as well. Alright, um, Jam, last one, where would you put it? Personal bias, because I'm a huge Tekken fan, and love the Tekken World Tour, and literally love, like literally, y'all don't understand of how much I love competitive Tekken, and literally, this is a matchup in Tekken 7, but this is mm -hmm. your guys, since and literally, I would put it like the spot that you guys would put it, just because I don't want I don't waste your guys' time. But Fair again, enough. I'm I'm a I'm a big I'm a big ass tech I'm a big ass second seven fan and a big ass second world tour fan. All right, all so right. That's the I vote. guess and we're yep. Uh, yep. going on, and we're not gonna nope. get to see. Uh, we're not nope. gonna get to see nope. Cole and Alex cross dressing. <laughs> no. All right, what do we gotta get? No! Oh, oh shit, whoa, Alex! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I love oh, this one. Oh, wow. Can, can, oh, can we just put that in, a, in the bottom? Of, can can we on, just immediately on, put on, that in the bottom? Without look, hang without on, fucking, hang look, on. One second can, can here. Can we just put it in, just, in the bottom? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put <laughs> this right here, and we're just gonna... We're just... <laughs> can, can we just put you it in the, in the bottom, please? No. Was this one no. of the first original Death Battles? Yes, it was. This is from season uh, one. Yeah, all right. I'm going to start literally after Sonic right versus back. Mario 1. All right. This is the first one with a warning at the beginning. The, first, the only one. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. You watch episode. it. This is the only episode, as far as I know, that actually has a disclaimer like that. Yeah. Oh, hey, Game It's the only. Uh, aside from Chuck Norris versus Sigata Sanshiro. Well, this is the only one that actually features "quote unquote" real people. Yeah. Let's be honest, though; they're still annoying. Let Let's be real. <laughs> Justin Bieber has actually managed to win me over musically. See, though, he got hit in the face by the water pump. After Friday. Oh my God! Look at the look at it! Look at the animation! It's so horrible. It's a Scott Pilgrim. And yeah. sprites. He was 17 at the time? What the hell? Yeah. That no, fucking this, outfit. This is... Justin Sarah... Bieber supports Sarah Palin? Also, I'm back. I didn't so, know that. So, Justin Bieber supports a Velociraptor. Oh, yeah. Oh, my ears. Welcome. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome to the worst and song of all time. And it's gone. Bye bye, everyone. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you want to be funny? Some joker on my Walmart radio decided to play baby in 2022. I, I just want to talk to him. I, I just want to talk. I say loading my shotgun. Wait, hold up. A freak, a lot of his hair is over 40k? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? What the fuck? Justin, the funny thing is, Justin Bieber actually, he like, a after, after, you know, you, you get past his initial output, but a lot of his recent stuff is actually really good. There's a like, kind of a shame. Uh, imagine, it's kind of. It's kind that, of. Uh, I can imagine. It's kind that, of. It's, a, it's kind of a gonna, shame that he's had. It's kind of a shame. Last I heard, he had face paralysis, but I think he might be okay now. I can't remember. Yeah, I think he's doing better. No, he's but yeah, okay. what do you yeah. mean off of uh, off of purpose? Oh my god! Like uh, when oh. Justin Bieber oh. recorded uh, purpose, and that in 2014, and that's actually a really good album. Like he actually, <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or fucking not, the music on um on purpose is actually really good. Yeah. Oh, uh, why is this a show? Oh, oh yes. Justin Bieber now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> CSI Miami. He got he got eaten in South Park. To be fair. Why did yeah. he agree to be a part of that? Meanwhile, got one. Ah, meanwhile, God. Got one there was a lot of celebrities that lost oh, in this show. We got literally one song and then dipped. Yeah. Like, what is what is Rebecca Black actually doing right now? Stop. Uh, I think she's still singing, but the funny thing is, the last time I saw her, uh, it was, I think, a segment from American Idol or America's Got Talent, where she sung her original It's Friday, but the thing is, because she was older... Only knows four little... out of seven weekends. She <laughs> sounded a little more raspy. Durp? And at the end, Durp? she kept on saying fun, fun, fun over and over and over and over again. It was to the point where one of the judges was actually about to facepalm, but then remembered he was on camera. <laughs> so he... But then remembered he was on camera, so he had to quickly switch to a clap. Oh my god. Uh. Can, can, can we just end it and put it on the bottom of the tier list, please? Already? No. No. Please. No, we have yeah, to watch no, it. We watch. We watch, we watch all of them all the way through. Damn it! Good fucking like, god! I'm glad all, I have the volume practically. Uh, on this. We all know what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, he, we would get copyright strike to hell because they are would. playing the fucking music. <laughs> That's about it. Rebecca Black made an appearance in uh, a Katy Perry video. I think that's did the most uh, notable news? appearance she did. Was it notable? the last song she made Saturday? And I hope you get an eating disorder so you'll look pretty. Ooh. Oh. What the that fuck? Fucking no. uh, that fucking knows. Gosh, you look like a robot. All right, All right skipping the ad. Not, There's uh, just there Beaver at the Mega Man uh, Tower. Yeah. Yep. Beaver's oh, head with the Ah <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spray sprays her with ah! the. Oh, no. yeah, Justin doesn't have any balls, so, you know. <laughs> I love the fact it doesn't exist. The, 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 oh, my God. The fucking no, music! I don't <laughs> oh, remember the music. This, Why are we playing the Code Geass oh. music? Look at her come out. She has a knife! <laughs> the fuck? The bare knuckle machine. Oh my god. Who the fuck is that oh, driving the car? Who Just is, kill me. Who is that? It's just some <laughs> random dude. She's like, what should I do? What should don't I do? Spit. This is a time where you don't sit. You stand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they're dead. Oh my god. They're both Let dead. Oh. And they both did. Goodbye. Not oh, this is kind of unfair. Brothers. Brothers. This is kind of unfair. I like the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, they're okay. What? They're all dead. Have a good day. Uh, and the star is still stars. flying. And now, and hey, who's going to... Who, meanwhile, baseball stadium. <laughs> Is that more? Is Hi, that more? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh my God. We just set a death battle record. Not only did Bieber.
Sabre and Black take each other out, but also Miley Cyrus, the Jonas Brothers, and the <laughs> expression they face. Okay. The expressions that they picked out for these for these characters, man, these are hilarious. <laughs> man, it's not saving you for me. It's not saving me. It's not saving it. It's not saving it. It's not saving it for the bin. It's not saving it from the bin. Draw the draw. first mm. ever draw. draw in death battle. Oh, uh, actually, uh, uh, actually, Ben, the uh, first ever draw. draw was Goomba versus Koopa. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, You're I got right. that wrong. All right. Okay. So, where the hell do we put this? Okay. Oh, uh, in uh, the Alex, bin. You go first. Let's get in the bin. Get in the bin. Oh, Alex, hang on. Alex, okay. you go first. Alex. The only okay. So the only negative I have to say about this that's going to bump it down to below the epicness that is. Sega da Sanjiro versus Chuck Norris is the oh, fact that the um, the Jonas brothers were killed in it, but uh, Nick Jonas can also go fuck himself for for recording thing uh, Jealous back in 2014. That is one of the worst <laughs> songs I've ever fucking heard. Jonas, go go back, go back to your brothers, because you guys are much better when you're recording together. So uh yeah, uh, so this is one step below. Oh, the legendariness that is legendary versus legend. Didn't Jonas Brothers All make right, a cover, um, uh, a cover Kevin, song next. on you? I don't remember. Uh, I'll put it in the same place on. as Alex. I'll put it in the same place as Alex. Just, just I, to get it and move on. I just okay, love like, if of the whole, if, whole like, carnage. I'm in two <laughs> places. One, if I were to go for the full meme ranking, I would put it there, but I can't do that for the sake of my honor. So I ha I had to think about it. I either going to put it at the bottom of Worthy Deaf or the bottom of Pretty Damn Good because it is funny. It is funny satire, but that's kind of all it is. I can't place it above any of these phenomenal episodes. I just can't. Maybe some of these, but it's either got to be down here or down here. That's where I would put it. I don't know. I mean... I just I can't put it on top. I, I just can't. I don't. I, I I have the dignity to save. Fuck you. I uh, Gizmo, you're up. I I know. I understand. But you know. Same here. Yeah. Gizmo, you're up. Eh. <laughs> I don't. I mean. By the way, uh, in the midst of all this, my cat was beating up a mouse. <laughs> awesome. I, I oh man, I don't know, what man. Just, like personally, like personally, man. Uh. I love this. Uh, I love this episode for how fucking funny it is. Not for not not just because of the fucking analysis, but the the fight itself. How it would try to be seen as like a, a serious fight, even though it's, it's obviously satirical. The multiple deaths, the expressions on, on the faces they cut out, the music, which has made it even more hilarious. Uh, Personally, I would put it in somewhere it's time for a death battle, but realistically, oh uh, man, I don't know, man. I would put it in the bottom of pretty damn good. I, I think yeah. if we're talking about realistic, if we're if we were talking realistically, I would put it in the bottom right at the bottom of pretty damn good. But personally, yeah. I would put it in it's time for a death battle, also right at the bottom because like like I said, realistically, this really hasn't aged a, 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 that well because while well, yeah, yeah, everybody remembers the two, they really haven't really done much to talk about. I mean, sure, Justin Bieber's still a dumbass, and it's and uh, and uh, good... Rebecca Black has fallen off the face of the earth. But I think a good way of putting it is that it's a product of its time. Yeah, it was a product yeah. of, of its time. It didn't really age that well. It only serves. The people that only the only people that would look back at this episode would be the people that have been around the 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 time the two of these were were out and were out and actually famous. Nowadays, yeah. nobody would. Act. Yeah. Nowadays, most most younger guys would be like, "Who?" Well, uh, guys like us would be like, "Oh yeah, I remember those two. That they, they, they had shit music." So yeah. yeah, that's why I say realistically, it would be in the bottom of pretty damn good, but. Personally, I would put him at the bottom if it's time for a death right. battle. Right. Because of how fucking All right, fun um, RGS, uh, where would you put it? It was fine. That's kind of all I could say. It's obviously very dated and a lot of other stuff. It's very fine to me. 
I understand that it is a product of its time, and that's why I'm not going to say anything against it. It's still pretty good using the uh, Scott Pilgrim stuff, but it was just very fine. That's fair. Um, Jam, I don't even need to ask you since you say the, at the very bottom, so that's your vote. <laughs> uh, um, can, can, can I explain? But yeah, yeah it, it no, was literally uh, like, it, in, in literally, like, I can explain, like, literally, it was a product at the time. It's like, why? Like 2010, 2011, right? Ish? Like, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah I, I do yeah. understand your but points. But literally, like, like, what the, like, this, Death Battle doesn't make sense to me. Hang on, hang on. Gizmo, I, you're echoing. Yeah, I got this nothing playing. Does not make sense to me at the time. It do, it does, but in 2022, going into 2023, it literally is get in the bin. It is literally get in the bin. Well, anyways, but, so, right. uh, so okay, yeah, so, so let's go over the votes. We have two for right under Chuck. Hmm. Um, one for at the bottom here from Gizmo. Gizmo also voted for at the bottom, but pretty damn good. Two oh two votes were pretty damn good. One it for it was fine, and one at the very bottom. So split the difference and leave it where it is. Also, before right we here, move on, yeah. Also, before I feel we like move it on, should... I have to mention in that yes, Frank Jonas was uh was in Ponyo. Frank Jonas is the youngest member of the Jonas brother. Well, technically uh, yeah. not a member of the Jonas brothers. There's he uh he was in Ponyo. Oh, he recorded uh, vocals for the English version of the song. Yeah, he and he's also an astrophysicist and sound engineer, apparently. Holy wow. shit, that's a turnaround. Um, yeah. It, hold on, My hold God. On. And hold on, God before, damn. And hold on, before, before we move on to the next step, Bell, was this like the first like real like parody? Like, yes, this like was the first yeah. major yeah. That joke. Was the first the parody. That's the first time they yeah. actually had real people in a parody episode. It was not the first oh, I, uh, yeah, joke episode. That would be Goomba versus Koopa. Yeah, before yeah, we continue, yeah. since there were so many, the first... on, before we before we continue, since there are so many votes for around the under this, and there are so many votes around this, let's place it right here where it is. Yeah, okay. Keep it yeah. there. Yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah. Fine. All right. Next. Oh, baby, what are we going to get now? Boy, come on. We have what? Fort Elliot. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us to listen to it. Oh, oh, speak of the devil, Alex. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, oh, yeah. oh nice. Oh, Here we go, boys. I am no Thomas. Oh, baby. Oh, well, I know where this I is going. Am no Hang on Thomas. one second here. Literally episode oh. four. It's going. I, I lost it now. I have no idea where it went on. <laughs> it's it's, it's so right below it. Voltron. It's right below Voltron, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, there we you go. know what? I have different <sighs> opinions of this, but we'll get it afterwards. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be a fun. This is going to be a fun one. This is episode four. This is actually kind of significant because yeah, this is, this is also... the first episode. Of, this is the first episode to reach one million views. Oh, and so also, like, like I said, this is the first episode with a draw. Yeah. It's also yeah. the first episode to reach one million views and make the show popular. So if it weren't for this, Step Out might have never went as big as it did. No, Superman vs. Goku won. No, that's, 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 that's no, no. Enough. This episode, that episode wouldn't exist without this one. The Mushroom Kingdom is a world that houses many strange and But no, it, 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 this was the start and the peak was Superman vs. Goku won. Yeah, that was the peak. That's a great one. We'll get to that. Oh yeah, just remembered the the Barbie movie trailer just came out. Oh yeah, we'll talk about we'll that on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Man, uh, they, they made a sequel to this on DBX, and it was fantastic. Oh yeah, that, that, oh, yeah, was, they did. that was a lot better than it had any right to be about. Yeah, for Troopa. that went hard. That went so hard. Yeah, charge into opponents. I am the weakest Mario enemy. Screw you. Goomba, apply directly to I Mario. Goomba, Useless apply directly fangs. to Mario. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't actually mind having a Goomba as a pet. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure that would kill you. Yeah, I was going to say, hey, they kill you in one hit, but then you also, oh, like, you have to deal with them, them being incredibly fragile. Like, you also you, have to deal with them shitting it, babies. Yes, and if you pet a Goomba, it dies. <laughs> oh no! Oh, by, by the way, sh shout out to Goomba actually, uh, actually, actually playing baseball without hands. Yeah. Let's go. That's a Veggie Tales logic. 
Why well, I didn't know the Goomba was from Veggie Tales. You know, funny thing. There it goes. <laughs> and it's gone. Oh, bit, bit, bit. oh no! Uh, <laughs> half? Goombas are fucking morons. Bowser's second most common foot soldier is the Koopa Troopa. The turtle. <laughs> like Ninja Turtles? No, not Ninja Turtles. No, those are oh, the, the, um... The Koopa Brothers. Like a dice from, uh... Paper yeah, Mario, yeah. From the original Paper Mario. Yeah. Yoshi story. Yeah. No, it's from the original Paper Mario. Which, by the way, Jamie, I'm considering streaming the original Paper Mario after I do Kingdom Hearts 2. Nice. Well, first we gotta get through, um, encoded. I I'm actually want to play the original Paper Mario, Can't, thanks to, uh, Chugga. Thanks to Chugga's Let's Play again. Yeah, I never actually played the original Mar Paper Mario. It's good. And by the way, uh, Gizmo, if I ever, if we ever end up getting you the uh, Switch expansion thing, you can. I already got it on the Wii. I already got that game on the Wii U, though, so I'm good. Okay, so okay, so you already have a method. Never mind. <laughs> Koopas are cowards. The poor things. They kind of are, yeah. I think that's what makes them adorable, though. Oh, yeah. Also, also, shout out to the Koopas. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. You don't have anything in your mouth. Um, my cat. Because sometimes he'll have something in his mouth and he just... Here comes one, here comes one of the best death battles ever made. Yeah, kind of true. Kind of true. It's better than he has any right to be. It, 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 it goes kind of sudden, hard. Yeah, all of a sudden we're just merging sprites from different eras of the franchise. They yeah, made him look hell right yeah. somehow. Oh, they're both oh, growing away, no. oh, this shit. The this shit's got real. Fly Hold with up. me. No. Let's fly oh, no, no. with we'll me. Super Mario away. Galaxy music goes hard on this. Ah, no troll <laughs> face. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> awesome. that's actually the awesome face. Yeah. Yeah, you're Some right. <laughs> I love no, this really. sequence. Why is this sequence so cool? You know why? Because ah. it's the Mario Galaxy's music. That's why. That's true. That does help. Ooh, Ooh, they, are, like getting... they are kind of just taking the sprites and, and bashing them together, but I do appreciate how how they're yeah. having to animate this. This because they're This is this is this Ben's is nice fourth ever animation. animation. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's Ben's <laughs> fourth. Oh, oh the baby. No, <laughs> oh the sun. Yep. Oh the sun's like oh, baby, awesome. baby, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like you got don't deserve to be in death battle. Get out of here. Sure. He's like, fuck you. Mario 3 shoe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and they're both dead. Goodbye. Oh, uh, <laughs> the red Goomba. <laughs> ooh, ah, the oh, the chance. Oh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Yeah, Shark the galaxy ooh, music ooh, helps ooh, so much. Ooh, 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 Seriously, play ooh, Mario ooh, Galaxy. Ooh, it's amazing. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, oh, I and know. there goes. And oh, 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 they all died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh so he did not it. only. Like, so this is this being the first parody episode, the, well, the first joke episode rather, also wound up being the first draw. Yeah, a draw. Fucking a amazing. Okay. Which, by the way, JV, speaking of other runaway guys, John is having some absolute shit luck in Mario Party DS. No shit. <laughs> And Emil is getting back at him slowly no, and steadily. No, uh, no, Emil might actually clean sweep next. In, in no, he episode. already has a but, default victory. Anyway. No, All right, so have, where would we? Okay, we'll uh, uh, Alex. Um, I'm going Alex. to say let's scroll up here, and I'm going to say this is pretty damn good. I'm going Same. to put it. Um, I'm going to put it above Adora versus Wonder Woman. I'll say. Yeah, same here. I would put at the very bottom of it's time for a death bow for a few reasons. One, for Ben Singer's 
fourth it, ever animation. It's really, really good. It like, is genuinely quite good. really good. And uh, again, the music, the music really does help. Well. It has aged really it well. Really does, and yeah, it has. And my, another reason, another reason I would put it is that this is the episode that made Death Bow popular, which may be hard to believe. You but Ben so? has said this: this is the episode that first hit a million views for this series. It's the one that made it really hit it, off it, on Screw Attack. The star, you're right. But to win, I would this Goku wants to have a talk with you. Well, I mean, no, it, it was already Death Bow was already popular before that. This is the episode to make it really popular, or at least. Yeah. Really help kick it off from its beginnings. Yes. So I would put it at the bottom. I'm a little biased, but I, I would put it at the bottom. Uh, Gizmo, you're up. Uh, <laughs> from from my reaction, you would think I will put it in. It's time for a death battle, but I think if anything, uh, it's I'll put it in a worthy death. Huh. I'll put it in a worthy death. Right. Uh, I think I would put it right. In but right in between the Mega Man Battle Royale and the Lich King versus uh, Sauron. Fair, yeah. I, I I put it there because uh, while this, uh, this is this is the like the fourth time ever Ben has uh, animated. I think it's because I think it's because it's a parody that that's really holding me back from saying it's any better. I don't know why. I feel I don't know why. I really don't know why. Like. Something about it is making me say it's a worthy death, but not it's time for a death bout. I re mm. the reactions say otherwise, like I said, but something about yeah. it is just making me say it doesn't belong there, and it's not quite right. But I can't. It's really good though. It, the the animations, the animation uh, aged really well. Uh, the art style, while you know it's kind of odd seeing like different sprites from different eras like collide, it, I think it fit for what it you was. You know what? Yeah, I feel like that's the only major drawback is the kind of different generation of sprites. Yeah, that's probably but that's kind of it. Yeah, that's probably what's holding me back. But it, yeah, it's, it's, not I'll, I'll... it's not bad. I would put it in a worthy yeah. death in between the Bingham and Battle Royale and the Lich King versus Sauron. That's fair. All right, RGS, you're up. It's charming. If there was a charming tier, I'd put it in. But if the, I can't give it a it's time for a death battle, I can't. Mostly mm. because I think that should be reserved for like the really good like ones. <laughs> Hence why I wouldn't want to put like shit like uh, Digimon and like That's all fair. that up there. It's it's still a perfectly great um thing. It's still really good for what it is, but I would just put it in pretty damn good, just because I think the charm is the fact that it's a parody and it's not trying to take itself too seriously. Um, I would place it under, um, I'd, I'd place it under, uh, Grey versus, uh, Isdev, but mostly because I think Grey versus Isdev shouldn't be there at all, but, you know, it's just my bias. That's fair. I don't think Amy should be there at all, but I get, I get your point. Uh, Jam, where would you put it? Alright, so I I think it's either the bottom of of S or top of A, only because one, the Mario Galaxy Galaxy music. Two, it was the, literally the first like joke death battle, and the and apparently the death battle that put into the map, but that but it literally carried Superman versus the Goku's. So yeah, mm -hmm. either bottom of of S tier or or top of A tier, which is respectively top for a death battle or a worthy right, yeah. death. Right. So we got two votes for the bomb of it's time for a death battle, one vote for a worthy death, and three votes for pretty damn good. So because of that, let's default it to right here. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. sure. Okay. Yeah. Shout I out to Koopa versus Goomba being right next yeah! to Jacob Black. <laughs> Yep, basically. All right, Chase what do we gotta get? 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 So oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, hey. oh, the good oh, Batman. Oh, the good Batman. The oh, the good Mar Batman versus Marvel. Oh, death battle. There, there yeah. are two of them. Though. You there mean are two DC, good ones? DC versus. Uh, there's versus one. Marvel. DC versus Marvel. two. Four. Well, there's there four. Two good ones. Together, there's okay, like two technically, good ones. if you if you count. 
Winter Soldier There's versus Batman? the Red Hood. That's okay. no, Man. I'm talking about Batman no, 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 like versus Iron Batman. Man. Like Batman versus Batman Bruce. No, Wayne we're not. Ta- yeah, we're not talking. Um, Why was Batman, this what? such a common pairing? I have to ask because this this was a recurring aspect of the Animorphs novels, where Marco, I think it was Marco and Jake. No, it was Marco and Tobias. Marco and <laughs> no, Tobias course. were constantly arguing as to who would win in in this matchup. I think I think the reason is two reasons. One, there are similar concepts. Man dresses up as a animal themed superhero. And Batman. two, they're both they both have their iconic roles, like the Green Goblin and Joker, right? I I would name yeah, more I just but assumed my brain went to super popular, honestly. I just assumed that their popularity was really high to spark yeah. Yeah. I mean as as they were both you know, basically the faces of the company at various points in time. I I I kind of understand that, although, like, dear fucking God, did you guys know about the Spider-Man versus Superman comic? I did. Oh, it's so good. I read it. It's so good. It's funny. It's It's fucking funny. It's so good. Like, genuinely, it's one of the best crossover comics I've read up there. And, of course, there's so... The one flaw with this and out, the one flaw I feel like with Batman's analysis is the fact that they have to, of course, be like, "Oh, Batman," and not at all right up there, just or he, or part of their. No, if you think no, about no, it, no, 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 no. Part mean... of their argument is basically, it, oh, because he has as like, like a twelve-year-old helping him to fight crime and whatnot. I'm like, you do realize that that's their own a... that's our own interpretation. You... Yeah, yeah, that is a kind of a interpretation, inter- heavily thing. flawed interpretation. I, I love the that... analysis on this. You know, it's honestly surprising. Despite this being one of the best episodes, they never returned Spider-Man for another go. Yeah, I almost found that people, odd. Um, the people have actually asked, no, like, asked uh, Death Battle like if Peter Clifford Parker, Chapin would play right, Spider-Man. Um, the character Spider-Man, Spider-Man, he has came back. But That's with, like, 2099 Spider-Man, though. They never really yeah. bought no, Peter Parker. No, yeah, they, but, they came back too. No, yeah, like, like, no, too, like we're talking like, about we're talking about Peter, Peter Parker. Parker. Peter Parker never it's really weird. came back. No, it's weird because Peter Parker hasn't got a new episode yet, but Batman's got three, <laughs> like, four three actually, entire episodes. Four entire episodes of the ba- of Batman Bruce Wayne, but never more than one episode. No, Parker there was only there was back. only. No, like I'm because I like, count like Batman... three after this. No, three after this, not the four yeah, 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 yeah. including this. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Pirate Batman was awesome. Yeah. I read that. A Batman. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was, I saw that in theaters, man. That was awesome. I wish I could have uh, seen friend Batman or foe. I saw friend or foe. That was awful. <laughs> It wasn't that oh, bad dude, a game. Funny, was, funny thing about the charming. '90s animated series, they're selling the shirt that Peter Parker wore in that show now. Yeah, but they're not ah. selling the fucking show. Fuck you, Disney. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, actually. Oh, Peter. That's actually, get, well, oh guys, yeah. I guess we can yo, say that. Marvel? that Peter, yo, Marvel. Yo, Marvel. Andrew Marvel, Garfield. Baby. I saw it. I saw Andrew Marvel. Garfield. Well, guys, I guess you could say I that Peter Marvel. gets his dick wet more than any other superhero in fiction. Uh, I don't need any. Uh, okay, well, that, I remember that toy Spider-Man. <laughs> that's, that's Universal Studios Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Looks like yep, Toy I've Spider-Man a little bit. No, that that suit was specifically for oh, when uh, Universal when Universal Studios Florida used to have uh, a ton of Marvel stuff. No, they oh. still have it. They barely though, barely. I hear, I hear they're going to remove everything Marvel related in floor in the Universal Studios Florida. I, I think doubt that might that. be true. No, and that's I think a that's sad be thing too because that's a sad thing too because oh, I always want oh, to go Alex. for the Marvel stuff. Yeah. Who's the name of the uh, Tyrannodon based villain in Marvel? Ah, uh, 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 Soren. Yeah, Doctor Soren, I believe. Funny thing, uh, someone actually, there was a superhero that asked him, you could be curing cancer with how smart you are. And he said, but I don't want to cure that cancer. That is the I same turn guy. Into dinosaurs. Yeah. That is the same that, guy. Yeah, that's Spider-Man. Oh, I, I have the PS2 version of that game. Yeah, that's true. That's the, uh, that's the X-Men villain Sauron talking with Spider-Man. Yes, I found that hilarious. 
<laughs> I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. That's literally the same argument what the that Gorilla turn people into dinosaurs. <laughs> That's also literally the same argument that um, no. Gorilla Grodd would make. That was a Marvel versus Capcom, by the way. Shout Isn't Marvel Gorilla Grodd an actual gorilla with a dinosaur dude? Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's not a real comic, but it could have been. Uh, oh, Marvel fact... Spider Man PS1 cover. Yeah, the fact that they didn't actually make that fucking comic is weird. Yeah. Oh, fun fact, by the way, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was supposed to play Dr. Octopus in James Cameron's Spider-Man yeah, yeah. film. That never got made. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm so glad that didn't happen. Yeah, that, that movie looked like it was gonna be garbage. What the fuck? Yep, lazy writing. What the fuck <laughs> was oh, that? Man. The One fact about the whole Fortnite thing. Well, the, the amazing Spider-Man. Oh, let's watch the, the right, let's watch the animation. Hang on, let's watch the animation. Dum 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 pam. <laughs> this is oh, uh, this is gonna be fun. I'm excited. MVC Spider-Man and a custom yep. sprite. Marvel yeah, vs. DC Smart Batman. Yeah, I was gonna say, I believe no, that's it, Marvel vs. It, yeah. Marvel vs. Cap. It's literally yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom Spider-Man. Yes, that's yep. what I said. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. the darker coloring. It's Marvel too, baby. It's it's one of the best fighting games ever made. Honestly, that could be from any oh. of them. <laughs> Your spider sense should have told you about that. Well, he chooses not he has to, to react to it. Yeah. Ooh, you the see spider... it go off every now and then. You can sometimes see like the spider sense thing go off around his yeah, head. Yeah, so his spider sense is pretty much like an alarm clock. Oh. If he chooses to react to it. He, he can react to it, but. Otherwise, uh, for example, this scene. Watch what happens. Oh, I love this scene. Oh my god! Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Here we Boom. go. Oh, Ooh. I love As that. If Batman ever stood a goddamn chance. Yeah, come on. Oh, Bat! Oh, I love that shot. That's so good. <laughs> Just because Batman has has mastered over a hundred different martial arts. All right, oh, here's the thing. Watch Peter... this, part. watch this, watch this. Hang on, watch this. Oh, the death, yes. No, watch, watch. Wave the spider trumps everything. Uh. Yeah, Spider-Man. Spider-Man has oh, Watch this, tanked... watch this. Oh, here we go! Yes, yes! Having fun yet? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Best yes. Season yeah. one of ever. Yeah, motherfucker! On that. Oh! Ninja. Oh my god. Your mouth. I'm gonna say hi to my mommy and daddy now. Bye. I thought that Ooh. uh he can't. His parents are dead too. <laughs> yeah, and no, his that's uncle. What, that's what I said. I'm going that's what Batman said. It's like I'm gonna say hi to my mommy and daddy now. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, no. The animation was... Okay. There, there was no way he was going to be able to deal with his strength and speed. Spider-Man has tanked hits yeah. from fucking Electro. That... Even the best of Batman's hypercharged shock tech does not work on Spider-Man. <laughs> you have to specifically have find, like, a... Find like a measurement that would actually hurt him. <laughs> the Humpty yeah. Dumpty Batman joke. I, I forgot about that. That's great. Mm. All right, let's. How do we rank this episode? This is a good uh, one. Uh, okay. Short and Alex? Um. Okay, so I'm gonna put it at. Uh, I'm going to. I, I think I should put it either in a worthy death or pretty damn good. There. It. It's not. It's not time for a death battle, but I think I'll it, put it on the top of worthy death. Worthy death Pretty above well Leon rocks. Kennedy and Frank Hank West. I'll put you know what I'll, that sounds about right. Actually, you I'll know put what? it below that. Actually, below Shadow oh, and Vegeta. Yeah, below actually, Shadow and Vegeta. I would. I would put it um, above Rainbow Dash. This episode does so much right, especially the fight. It's one of the better ones they've ever done, and it's one of. <sighs> This is when they had their second animator ever working on it. And there's just a few little key details. Like when Peter, when, there's the moment where when, as soon as Peter go, gets serious, the fight is over. Having fun yet? And that's the exact moment he starts taking that fight seriously and fucking ends it. 
I yeah. love that. It trumps everything this particular episode has. And I love that episode too. Oh, but monster. again, like I love that fight. The analysis, like it's good. It does the job. Same with the result and whatnot. But the fight is where it's at. I do believe it deserves above here. That just my opinion, of course. Um, Gizmo, you're up. I mean, what what is there to say that's already and that hasn't already been said? It's a it's a great it's this aged really well. The the voice the voice clips the the sprite work animation everything about it is is like top notch. But I wouldn't put on it's time for a death bell. I don't uh, mm. I, probably because it's very short and sweet. But I like how short and sweet it is. I think that's why it would, I would put it on uh, the top of worthy death though. Where'd you put it, Kevin, just to make sure in Worthy Death? Um, above Leon Kennedy and Frank West. All right. Um, RGS, you're up. I'm biased as fuck. It's time for a death bow. Yeah! Let's fucking go. <laughs> right. So, all right. first of all, it, it's, just, it's just the right amount of fight that you need, to be honest, and it does show the whole point. If Spider-Man gets serious, he would fucking murder Batman. Batman would not have the chance, prep time and all, because Spider-Man would fucking tear him limb from limb. Yeah, Spider-Man has maybe. also beaten a Herald of Galactus in one-on-one -on -one yes. combat. And Spider-Man yeah. is not losing this fight in any... Well, keep, in mind, <laughs> keep in mind that that was when he had the symbiote suit on. That doesn't so, matter because thing. he's beaten the symbiote. Here's the thing, the symbiote suit is not a power enhancer, it's a power unlimiter. Or like, like Spider-Man holds back so much, all the suit does is remove his inhibitions. Yeah. To, to be fair, the symbiote does increase a person's uh, strength and speed just by a tiny bit, but it still does apply. I mean, you can do that to a normal person, yeah, no. but Spider-Man is, is so far above a normal person that it basically just mm -hmm. makes him give in to his, uh, his um, you know, baser natures and things like that. It hits from the Hulk. Oh, yeah, no, let RGS finish. So you were saying RGS? The, the analysis is all right. You know, I would have maybe have preferred that they retouched on this fight again and given it the new coat of paint that the new Death Battles have. But I do like it. It is genuinely enjoyable. And the death as well, I mentioned before, I like deaths that involve, like, kicks. And I love this one. I love the momentum of it. I like the, the use of camera shots, even if they are simple. Ah, oh, I loved it. I loved the death, as so I'm going to mention again. Fucking kick. It's like, oh, sound design, the, the visual design, everything. <laughs> Good. The That's build up to it, awesome. the, the, the build up to it is fantastic. The moment, like, again, I pointed this out, but with the voice line they use to emphasize he's getting serious is fucking perfect. Yeah, genuinely that's because uh, Josh Keaton is just a genuinely good Spider Man voice actor. If I ever had the choice to. Uh, and pick someone to be de facto Spider Man. That would be Josh Keaton. Josh yeah, Keaton is de facto Spider Man. I don't know if anyone Spider noticed though, uh, when he when he kicked Batman through the webbing, it wasn't like a a slap or a pow like you would hear any other like a uh, uh, mm -hmm. hit from a body part. They actually had a boom sound yeah. effect when he kicked him when he kicked his torso away from his limbs. I love that yeah. little touch. That's yeah. the impact of his kick when he's not holding back. He was literally bench pressed for a fucking bus. So him literally plowing yeah. through Batman's body is fucking awesome. It's I'm biased as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. So if this gets to worthy death, I'm fine with that. But this is going to uh it's time for a death battle and I'm putting it above fucking uh Eggman versus Dr. Wily because I think it is much more it I is am much the more Eggman. Yeah, you know, I agree. I agree with that. All right, um, uh, Jam, uh, where would you put it? Um, I kind of agree on, like, either bottom of death, time for a death battle, or, or in between, or right before Metal Sonic versus Zero, only because mm -hmm. it's an, first of all, it's an early death battle. It's like way back in, like, in the early seasons of death battle. So, mm -hmm. at the time, it literally had, like, Oh, it's early death battle. We don't know what we're doing. Two, it's like it's like yeah. Spider Man's like yeah. As soon as I, I he actually tries like yeah. I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kill Batman and make sure that he can finally see his parents again. So yeah, I would put it, put it right between right 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 above Metal Sonic versus Zero. All right, so we got four votes for Worthy Death. So 
one at the top, one before Metal Sonic, one before or after Leon. I can't remember. Um, Kevin, what'd you say? After. Er, one, All right. After. On, oh, it's and like then, above uh, Leon and Frank West, and and Alex yeah. suggested it Vegeta and Shadow. Yep, I know. Yeah, above uh, Vegeta and Shadow. I would sense there's two votes for the top, and there's so many votes at the top. Let's leave it at the. Let's leave it at here. Does that sound that's good? Fair. It's the king oh, of the Warby death, yeah. Let's yeah. move on. All right. Next. Oh, what are we going to get next? Master Boy, come Wheel on. Of Mort- Wheel of Morality, turn to our turn. What- What's the lesson that we shall learn? Oh, no! Oh, oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Oh, here we go! Yes. Here we go! Yes! yes. Oh, our most okay. invited okay. Okay. okay, let's save. Hang on. Now, before we start, before we start, let's save all our thoughts at the end of research and animation lies. Because, oh boy, this is going to be dive, dive. Oh, uh, this is. We are going to fight over this ranking. We are going to go uh, tear each other This is definitely oh, my least favorite finale of Death Battle. Uh, uh, gonna have this is, let's, let's, oh, this is going to be interesting. Hey, you. Was this, was this before hey, you. the, um, was this the before the This is the war? season five finale. Yes. Uh, this, yeah. Yeah. This many, was, many years before. Yeah. This was another Death oh. Battle people asked for years. Oh, and also, Jamie, um, this death bat. Also, Jamie, this is the season five finale. Oh, so this is before Infinity War in game. Okay. Many years. No, actually, this came so out this after is- Infinity War. Uh, wait, you're fucking no. It couldn't have. No, it yes, came it out did. after that. Yeah. Yes, it did because it uses footage from Infinity War and makes reference to it. Yep, uh, constantly. Huh. huh. To the point where I'm just like, guys, there are, are other things you can make references to. 2018. How the yep. fuck? Sure. Yep. Oh, dude, yeah. It was like, anyway, Infinity War anyway was, Ben, play the video. It was video. literally brand new. So li- literally, Infinity War was brand new at the, the time. Fuck? Ben. Ben. Hit ben. The ben. Benjamin. Brum, bum, bum. Great, Ben's been kidnapped think... by ninjas. Yeah, Ben's dead. You want me to stream it? Uh, Ben's, ju- Ben's just trying to handle the low laser. Yeah. Oh, wait, wrong Ben. <laughs> and look, for the record, Gizmo, I get that you really like this be- death battle. I'm not going to dunk on you for that. It's just yes, the fact will. that... Can I finish speaking? No. The sun is a dead laser. Oh God, Ben is gone. And ben just he's dead, and he's gone. Good night, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, Am I still Wait, there? So I think his nope. I think Hold his on. internet's effed up. Okay, okay now, now, you're, now you're back. back. Okay, you back. okay. My internet died. I don't know why, but I'm connected to my phone Wi-Fi now. So. Oh, shit. That's- Okay, so I, I like so I, yeah, I I tapped I'm... my laptop and you disappeared, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, sorry, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know why back. my internet my internet will randomly disconnect on me. So I'm gonna Jesus go restart Christ. that. Uh, my phone Wi-Fi is connected to the computer, so that should stay. So I'll be right back. How oh, lovely. So, so yeah, like I said, this isn't. This is not exactly the. This isn't exactly a good season finale, but I understand and why a lot of people would like this. Yeah. And plus, let's be real, the outcome um, was one that made sense, but they downplay both of them so hard in this. That was my major problem with it. Um, yeah, one of the it's, one of the biggest issues that I had with this was the the, the downplaying. But yeah, um, I I know for a goddamn fact that I'd seen Infinity War several times by the time this one came out. But for some reason, I thought that this death battle came out not like right before Infinity War. Oh hi, no, I'm back. Hey Ben, Star Fox. 
Yeah, I found out why oh, my internet died, by the way. It wasn't just because it just died. It was updating firmware. <laughs> why? Oh, why? Why did it do now? I don't know! <laughs> uh, Thanos, the biggest simp for Lady Death. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fun fact, the biggest Thanos' simp, home planet... Uh, the biggest... We finally oh, have the biggest simp to ever appear on Death Bow. Second only to San Sanji. Sanji. <laughs> Okay, so California reason. Uh, <laughs> one of the most, so one of the more or notable, so one of the more re reoccurring voice actors for Thanos is Isaac Singleton Jr., who is oh. the guy in Street Fighter. He's only six seven. Holy shit! Also, by yeah. the way, Thanos' uh, home planet is Titan, a a moon of Saturn. Yep. Yes. Oh, hey, All right, my other internet's back. Let me reconnect to that real quick so that. Now the thing. Oh, it's back. Okay, continue. Now the thing with Thanos. Oh, it's just like, a, like I said, they'll down. They're gonna downplay his his strikes when the dude has taken. No, we'll talk about that at the end. Yeah. Let's save the complaints at the end. Uh, I will say I love the analysis. I love the, the fact that they actually referenced the Silver Surfer cartoon. Yes, I watched I mean, that shit as a kid. I mean, kind of have to considering this is considering this is the only one on where um, what the fuck is our Silver Surfer movie? Oh wait, considering that's the only one that you on that animated review. Our, uh, someone was talking, but they kept cutting out. Who was yeah, that? Yeah, it was Kevin. Oh, but Kevin, God you're you're it. cutting out real yeah. heavily there. I heard it's connected. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, Jeez. sorry, Kevin. Hey, this is actually going to be my last like analysis. My voice is getting tired. Fine. Right. Oh, you're good. You're good. They mentioned yeah. the good, cosmic damn. cube, but he never uses it in this fight. Yeah, because he doesn't need it. It's with the. It's you know. But the cosmic part... cube. The it's not literally... a bare part. It's not a part of his arsenal. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, if, if anything, it's just using. A, you know. If he's using them as part of the Infinity Gauntlet, it would be. Uh... Which he does. Yeah. So yeah, the, the Cosmic Cube doesn't exist anymore. the man for the Infinity Gauntlet. He crushed it so that he would be able to use it as part of the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. yeah. In the movie, though. In the movie. That's over cute. Oh, that look at his face! Uh, I, I, know, I, I forgot. Oh about my that ass! Oh! <laughs> oh, dude, the e there's another uh, design for ego that I actually absolutely love. That's better than that shit. That's ridiculous. Considering that both are a different size. <laughs> God, damn. <laughs> God, they still can isn't, never make um, it. Isn't isn't Kurt Russell all a part of the um the Nova Corps? No, no Kurt Russell. Yes. Kurt Russell, Kurt Russell was no. ego. He was ego. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. He was ego. Ego. Our Nova Corps. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, ego. look at that! <laughs> yeah, I love that they made that canon. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, there you go. He's alive. Yeah, he was part of the God Nova damn. Corps. What? Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Huh. Weird. Oh, look. He survived. I did an attack from Anson Mount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember Captain that bad Pike, condition? Captain Pike tried to kill him, but it didn't work. Just remember, when John, I remember when Black, uh, Black, Black Bolt could uh, destroy you with a single whisper from his mouth. What mouth? What oh, God, mouth? that was terrifying. Black Agar Boltigan. That is his real name. Damn, he's Why? fast. You know, I once made a joke pitch to... Ah! No! Oh, Hi, Deadpool. Damn it, Deadpool. Hi, Deadpool. He didn't need to be here. Why? Nah. He did, well, he kind of did, not? considering Thanos and Deadpool have a very, very sour relationship with each other. But they, yeah. But they didn't need to have No, him they kind of... No, they, they kind of had to. to. But it was... eh. This isn't an uh, ant to me. But then again... Then again, moving on. <laughs> hmm. Like legit this is, Deadpool this is, this and Death. Deadpool and Death actually had a relationship. Yep. Yeah, they did. 
Deadpool know, versus Thanos know. recovered that whole thing all really well. Like, as Deb uh, Thanos kept killing Deadpool, but he couldn't die because Thanos has cursed him to not die, so he kept going back and forth. And the worst part is if Thanos. And the worst part is if Thanos ends up undoing the curse, then Deadpool gets to be with Lady Death. Permanently. Can't have that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the Thanos copter. There you go. Remember, Thanos debuted as an Iron Man villain. You know what was the stupidest oh, thing I've that. ever done in terms of that comic book? At Goodwill, there was an entire long box of uh, Marvel comics, and one of them just so happened to be. Note in, that he in never uses the Reality Stone or or Soul Stone or Time I will. Stone I will say this. I will stone. nitpick on. The, I will nitpick on this. I do wish they went through kind of the feats of each stone. I understand why they didn't because this episode's already twenty five minutes, but it would have been good. Yeah, to do so. and, and this it is this made, one. Uh, this is a time when YouTube, you know, went past the ten minute limit too. So it, I yeah. wouldn't, have, I wouldn't there have minded it, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, Wiz. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. See. He ended up creating a sexy lady Thanos, but then sexy lady Thanos died. Why would yep. you want to rule 63 Thanos? That's still Thanos at the end of the day. He, he wants yes, to make but... Lady Death jealous. Yeah, also, he wanted to make her jealous with also, himself. Also, he's so narcissistic that the only thing he can... I'm very glad I have the footage reversed because we are definitely going to have to fight Disney on this as much as Death Battle. <laughs> hey, Disney, Death fuck Battle you. is good with us, us, but Death Battle is not... Uh, Disney isn't good Disney's with us, not. but Death Battle is, yeah. so... Yeah, that we bad, uh, yeah. Just... Screw attack like uh, not screw attack. Rooster Teeth likes us somehow, so that's yeah. that's good. I already know that Disney's not good with us, considering they made uh, fucking Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. That, no, that Marvel... was that was also Capcom. That was fault. their fault. They could have made that better. We got, you know, no, we that was guys, both their fault. Guys, Dark Side. Hey, Orion, what's up? <laughs> Did you you remember oh, the? Miracle. They make a lot of Marvel jokes in this one too, which is oh, hi, not Jack necessary Kirby. at all. So did you? I will say um. Fuck you, James. Uh, John. Uh, James Gunn. Fuck you. <laughs> you hired you know, the, at just least to he hire hasn't. Him. At least he hasn't uncancelled the New Gods movie. No. Uh, yeah, that's true. Sure. Okay. Yeah. God damn. Oh, hi, Drax. Not that Drax. He did. <laughs> but uh, Alex, so Alex, Alex, he did uncancel the Black Superman movie. So. Uh, oh, there is. What the Black Superman? The, that's already a thing in Marvel and DC Comics stuff. No, we're, we're talking about Kent. Black Clark Kent. Oh mm -hmm. fuck that! <laughs> Just give us a damn movie based off a of Black Superhero that already exists. Static so, Shock. Static Shock. Give us a Static Shock. Goddamn movie. Say, but, but hey, Ben, that can, movie does that mean that we can look shot. forward to seeing Tom Holland in blackface in the next Superman film? Oh, oh no, no, that's a different project. There's two Superman <laughs> projects. Hi, <laughs> Dark Side, voiced by Steve Bloom. But yeah, um, there's Steve two Superman Doom. projects now. The James Gunn Superman, the Black Superman. Totally unrelated. God, man. Oh, guys, oh. are you ready to see Tom Holland as Superman? No. Tom Holland? It's a, jo it's a running joke that uh, James Gunn's looking for someone young and Tom Holland would Your fit the boy, bill. but not Superman. There are rumors that James Gunn wants to do the American Alien story, which is why Jason might be Lobo if he even does return. God no. <laughs> if they ever, if I think if if anything, if they're gonna reboot the DC Marvel, uh, the DC movie universe, then sure, maybe get just say Jason to play as Lobo, but they're not doing that, so why bother? I mean, they uh, apparently James Gunn, after firing Jason after Aquaman 2, he wants to bring him back for Lobo. But why the fuck would he come back after being fired? Also, <laughs> team saved the universe from getting eaten by Thanos. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not only that, John Constantine also was the guy who who needed to single-handedly come up with a ba with a bass backwards plan for the Justice League to beat Darkseid. Yeah, he, he, sac War. he sacrificed his new 52 self. Yeah. Some that was weird. Hey, oh, secret. Jam left. I didn't notice. Oh, uh, yeah. Jam said, "Yeah, he needed to go." Oh. All right, you're good, Jam. You're good. Hang on. Oh, uh, 
Well, at least it's a better plug than Justice League X Ruby. <laughs> Fuck that movie whenever it's going to come out. Oh, God. How, how, you know, I read the, the comic. I read the comic. It was shit. I want to mention. I want to mention uh, that Black Static movie that's being made by DC might be canceled by James Gunn. Motherfucker! Come on. <laughs> and uh, Blue Beetle the and Blue the Stick not getting his show revived. How the fuck are you gonna? <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, Blue Beetle may or may not be rebooted as well, despite it coming out next year. Okay. They not? They already got a damn poster. Well, it's going to be rebooted the film regardless. Is maybe. Finished. It's. I mean, it's going to come out, but it's more than likely he's going to reboot it afterwards, depending on the box office. Oh, this is fucked up. This is a fucked up part. Uh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, that's rough, man. It's rough, buddy. Very. That's fucked up. It is. I would man. not want to die like that repeatedly. Yeah, but here's the thing: your deaths would get your death in life. Yeah, would get it would get worse. worse. Yeah, it would get worse. Reminds me of an episode of Stargate SG One. I forgot the source wall was in the DCAU. A lot of people do. It's not that talked about. Okay, yeah. and here's the thing: and they say they're trying to measure dark sides and speed, but here, but the thing is, is that. Dark side has what's known as irrelevant speed and yeah. irrelevant strength. As in, you can't measure him. That is literally... Certainly tried. They do talk about that uh, with his uh, true form. Yeah. It is cool that they still try, though. Yeah, I love the fact they that still, they actually they did tried, it. They tried, but... They tried, but at the same time, no. That's, again, downplaying in our... Not really, because they talk about the true form is Crush the Green Lantern ring. That's not exactly a feat in the DC Universe, considering no. that they get destroyed all the damn time. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you gotta... It's not like anybody can just, just destroy the damn thing. You gotta be like a super villain or a hero to do it in the first yeah. place. It's still tough. Like I could, like yeah, like I couldn't crush a ring. You could. Okay, crush Alex. The ring. In terms of the vo voices you've heard of Dark Side in in the in the stuff we've watched, ah, the beer can's who, alive. Who He's drinking prefer? it. <laughs> um, no. it's between Steve. Bl um, yeah, I was gonna say it's um, Michael Tony Ironside. Todd. It has to be Michael yeah. Ironside. Well, that's kind of a no-brainer. Which one's Michael Ironside again? The original? Uh, DCAU. Yes. Oh, yeah, he's the best one. Well, are we sure that... we finished from Fight Club here? Yep. Well, I, they're showing it because. Also, the, uh... oh my god, Tyler did 9 11. Nice! Oh, he, yeah, he, oh no. How could he? They're also going to downplay True Form Dark Side. Yeah, oh, you come. Hated. I hated the fact they put injustice. Uh, they put Dark Side in injustice too. His fighting style looks so weird. His fighting style, his fighting animation is literally based off General Zod. <laughs> Not <laughs> oh, this yeah. movie looks so strange. Oh, oh dude, yeah. that movie was awesome. It, it, then they had you know, one of the better. Hey, we also had movies. Andre Brower or in um in 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 Superman, Batman, and Apocalypse. Alex, yeah, dude, but still, it's always going to be Michael Ironside. That's the best design too. I mean, look at that. Well, that's well. Dark Side at that point in Justice League Unlimited had also guarded the power of Brainiac. <laughs> Mar Marvelous <laughs> Marno's Master Blaster! Holy shit! That I looked sounds away. more like a super. That sounds more like a Super Nintendo light gun game. Yeah, yeah it does. I was about to say. <laughs> Oh, the fact that Batman even shot him, that was always so hokey to me. I mean, it's the goddamn Batman. It go If it comes down to it, Batman will fucking shoot a bitch. And yeah, can we talk about how Superman hurt True's form Darkseid by singing? Yes, so weird to me. He defeated Darkseid with his, with could, the, out of the, his singing voice. Let's, let's talk about this, though. Because of that, Superman could beat Goku by singing. <laughs> 
Mm. No, but just because oh, the power, the the power of music the compels you, Goku. Get your mantis. Your mantis no, pulls out a oh, rad ben, guitar and starts ben, singing. Ben, <laughs> ben, no, no, there's the reason behind that. All right, let's go. Okay, right. Let's watch the animation. Let's, that, like let's, give, it all, let's give it. Let's give it. Let's give it a show. So Ben, there is an official Superman guitar that was sold at Six Flags. It's yeah! Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse oh, me. I would, like to, we... I would have loved to buy that. Guys, before we get started, I gotta use the restroom again. I'll be right back. Okay, oh, you're good. Super... We'll wait for I'm you. A I'm a big Superman gonna... fan. Oh. I would have loved to get that guitar. Yeah, no, while you guys wait, Ben, the only reason why that song hurt was because that song was specifically made to hurt Darkseid, and that's... Oh! Okay. okay, I didn't know that. Alright, good to know. Thank you for the context. <laughs> It's pretty much. Do we, out, do we get that on air? Do we get the burp on air? It's pr that uh, song that that singing thing was pretty much mm. Superman's version of the Unmaker in Doom. Like it only it only hurts a certain type <laughs> of. Movie. I get. Do we yeah, get the exactly. burp on air though? Alex, yes. did you get that burp? Go, go He's too fuck embarrassed, yourself, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. Mm -hmm. uh, you got that. I'm not making mm -hmm. the burps on me. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Uh, oh god. Okay. <laughs> so this is this is the Six Flags Superman guitar. Oh dude, that's awesome. What is the you six show it on back. Oh uh, that shit's cool. Oh man, I would have loved it. Guys, guys, press right. the button. Alright, let's give it a chance. Here we uh, go. Let's see how let's see the jank animation. Oh, the animation looks good all right. So it far. lacks impact, that's Shh. the problem. Watch. Oh god. What's wrong with your face? Also, Darkseid's models from uh, just from um, oh, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. DC. DC. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and there goes the best that. animated character in the entire thing. I love that Darkseid just raises an eyebrow. He I love I will, anything else. I love the facial animation on both. <laughs> and the music Ooh. I could definitely do without. Oh, that headbutt though. <laughs> Oh! oh! That's awesome. That I actually like awesome. the music here, but I'm part of the minority there. Ooh, Alex, you you see what I mean by lack of impact, right? Oh! Yeah, yeah, I get you. Uh... Well, at least it's better than a uh... good line. I... Ah, here we go. Better than Spider Gwen versus fucking Batgirl. Yeah, oh, don't talk about that. A low bar. I have low not bar. seen that, but I have a feeling it was stupid. Dude, it was You're going to hate it. You know what? It's going, basically uh, just Spider Man versus Batman again, but you change the genders 63. of people involved. Because they have and the same worst. fucking powers and skill set. It's also just Roughly. worse in every conceivable Florida. way. Well, let's watch this. We're, we know, we're talking about this. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, bitch slapped the car oh. away. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh, this is oh, the, the Thanos copter. The, yeah, the Thanos <laughs> copter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, not the Thanos copter. That's a cool shot. Ooh! Uh, he didn't even flinch. I like that. Ooh. Okay, now here's something I don't understand. Like, dark oh, side's using the weird part. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, weird. He, that's yeah, he a doesn't bit even weird. end up hitting Thanos. He wasn't even was aiming, aiming for him at? with the Omega Beam. Yeah, what I don't know what that at? shot was. That's the worst that shot in the episode. Yeah. Uh oh, Ooh. there you go. There we go. And Whoa. now we get something that should feel impactful, but really isn't very slowly this there is the goes type of music yeah that's exactly i don't mind it i like the music i feel like it worked best in the first set but i'll rant about that when we get there Ooh, kind of fits anyway these are two like big ass powerhouses yeah 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 but Ooh. this is not the genre of music i would expect from this I like that. Ooh. Like, if it was rock music, I feel like it would have been out of place. 
Maybe yeah. it'll I'm not, I'm not asking that it be rock. I'm thinking that it would make a hell of a lot more sense if it was something else, though. Like, well, like an orchestra. Yeah. Like, yeah, that. Th I'm sure. thinking. I'm thinking somewhere halfway between like Junkie XL's Justice League score and uh, Alan Silvestri's Endgame score. Throw in sure. I do like that shot. I like how Thanos does get bigger and he throws the planets. That's pretty cool. That should have a bit more impact, but it doesn't. No, I think that I think it works just. I think yeah, it works. I, feel, I think it works because I, of it. it. No, I. It just. No, no, no. like if you're, like, <laughs> you're, just, you're just throwing wet slaps at each other. Oh, okay. there goes the universe. We've uh, we've seen this before. Yeah, but I don't think we in have. a much better death battle. Well, I think this is before all that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, keep in mind this was bef way before Hulk versus Broly and stuff like that. Yep. No, 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 oh, not just that. In a better season two death battle, bro. We're, we're still watching. watching this. <laughs> and here's where the battle gets really stupid. Mm, excuse me. Ooh. Goodbye, Dark Side. Uh, it's about to get done. Oh, I like this shot, though. The fact that he keeps reappearing, I, mean, I like this that. Is, this is a good idea, but... Oh, yeah, let's save that rant, because I don't like the death either. Let's save it for the end, after the analysis. I like this. I feel like, yeah, Thanos could survive being right in front of them. Nope. Oof. That ain't gonna work, bitch. He's like, what? Because Thanos decided to be stupid. No, he was. that's how he is. No. Well, he's not stupid. He that's was how just he... himself. Yeah, this yeah, is one of that's... those things where I don't... I, I feel like this is a fairly logical progression in here because you probably wouldn't know that the gauntlet wouldn't work there, you know? Yeah. It oh, makes sense wouldn't for him. Know. It's, you it's would the think death avenue. Yeah. You would think it's the Thanos death avenue. know issues. that, but apparently not. No, he wouldn't. Oh, and this is lame. I'll read about this. Uh, when we get <laughs> on, bro. I, love, I love this one. With the mask on, bro? Come on. You well, really they... think she's going to kiss the O's, O's cancer? Yes. Oops. Yes. It's been said that death loves Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's start the analysis, then we'll rant. I mean, I don't mind the death, honestly. We'll get to that. Hey, Adam Warlock. The Marvel vs. DC uh, crossover was canon. Uh, Justice League versus Avengers. No, well, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was, it was uh, canon. It was, it was canon. Avengers. It was canon until Secret Wars and New Fifty Two Flashpoint. Yep. Fuck the New Fifty Two, man. It's Marvel versus DC that people get confused with. That was the vote one that wasn't canon. Uh, also, fuck New Fifty Two because they are they because of that they canceled the TMNT versus He Man. Oh, that's bullshit. Good Justice God, League versus why? Transformers. They because of the New Fifty Two. They canceled plans for Transformers X Justice League and TMNT X He Man oh, Match for the Universe. Imagine I'm how cool it would have been for both of those to come out. Oh my, my day is ruined now. Damn. Not even close. Keep in mind, though, SpongeBob is faster than th a Dark Side. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, we'll it still that. kills me.
that headbutt though. That was a that was great. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Alec, you go first while I load this up. Uh, okay, so let's uh. Let's go go down the list of all the reasons why this is okay-ish. So, mm. where is this? Where is this one? It's right between it's right, Black it's Widow right. and Widowmaker and Jiraiya and Master Roshi. Yep. Oh, yeah. So we'll get so, to those episodes. I'm going to put it right here for now until we decide okay. a final winner, um, just so I know where it is. So there's a, there are some problems with this one. It's, it's yeah. not terrible but it's not that great um one of the one of the biggest issues is that it's just kind of lame at best and it's mm. at, at its worst it's also just kind of lame um me personally i i like kind of like the the snap 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 that they do but it it's too slow the battle itself is is kind of I'm gonna put it in, it was fine. The battle itself could have been worse. It's, uh, it's, it's fairly well done in some places. Most of the time it reminds me of them just kinda, uh, t it's the sprite thing where you take the two sprites and you just whack them together, you know? Mm, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, I understand. Um, Kevin, you're up. End up just putting it in. It was fine. I'm mostly due to the fact that it's like, okay, I get that this was like a season finale kind of a big deal. And oh, but the thing is, it didn't feel like it was a season finale. It didn't feel grand at all. It was lacking, yeah, in impact, ambition, and and quite a bit. It uh, and this fight, I feel like, could have been maybe as long as what would be Goku versus Superman and number one. Like, this could have been in the Marvel versus DC equivalent of Goku versus Superman, but it didn't. It just yeah. was so boring. And the analysis itself, too many Marvel jokes, even in the DC stuff. Why? Why? I thought it was, I thought it was fine, but I do understand the complaint. It's just... Keep the jokes on, keep the Marvel jokes on one side, and keep the DC jokes on the other. Or you don't need. I do kind of like the the Drax thing, where they're like, like, oh, sorry, not that Drax. Yeah, uh, that one was yeah. lame. That was funny. That was funny. And another thing is like, I they downplay both of these characters are so heavily. Thanos has taken on Celestials before without the Infinity Gauntlet and won. Those guys are ridiculous in power. Yeah. I, I would like to ask for the sake of, you know, the timing of this episode, when did this happen? This happened um, after Infinity War came out. So just like maybe a few months, like a few months after Infinity War was put on like Blu-ray, DVD, 4K and whatnot. Yeah, I, I, I get that. That's the uh, timing for the battle. I mean, for the feat you're saying that he fought Celestial uh, with the gauntlet. Um, when was this? Um, I'm trying to rem I'm, I'm trying to remember, but I know oh, oh that this has happened before. Alex, do you recall that this being a thing since you're, you're more of a Marvel guy? Uh, yes, that is that happened prior to Infinity War, I'm going to say. But I'm not going to put a call, specific it does, date or issue on it. It it's sounds like in, something he would do, but I'm going to put it uh, with a grain of salt. a long time. Okay, so I'm going to change my ranking, actually. I'm putting this above Winter Soldier and the Red Hood. Yeah. I would okay. just put it at the top of It Was Fine. So, okay, Alex, you're, that's, so you're pretty damn good, you say? Yeah. All right. Ugh. I'm going to put... Because I, I'm, I'm torn. Because there's stuff that I really like. And there's stuff that I dislike. So the one thing, I'll, I'll say this: there's so, the fight is is a mixed bag. It has some really cool shit. Like again, the headbutt was great. Um, I'm part of the minority here, but I do like the music, though. I do think it fits way better in the first half than the second half. Alex, 
into something I the, real. I've tried to talk, Alex. Please. I'm singing I, away from the microphone. I, I am. I'm I st- uh, okay, I can still okay. hear you. I we can still very much hear you. Oh, good. I couldn't tell you were away. Okay, so where was I? Okay, so I was talking about the first half because I do feel like the first half of the fight's a lot better than the second half, and then the third half, man. Third okay, half. I'll rant, I will. I'll rant about the death because I love the build up to it, but the fucking, but the fucking death. Oh, they dropped the ball because they could have done something really funny and great with it. So you know how like it when you die, the deaths get worse. Right. They could have kept going. Like after Deadpool shoots him dead, he starts dying horrific ways related to Deadpool. And then you can have it end where a bunch of Deadpools around the table with Lady Death with an apple and Thanos' mouth on a plate with Deadpool ramping a chainsaw saying, who's ready for fake Thanos? <laughs> Man, even better than that, or one of those deaths includes Deadpool after killing Thanos teabagging him. Yes! Like, you could have had, Playing like, a really Fortnite fun... Fortnite music in the you background. Could... <laughs> the Fortnite was, before... Fortnite was af- long after this, but, like, you could have had, like, this really funny and brutal montage of Thanos dying over and over and over again. And they do nothing with it. Like, it's right in front of your faces, and you don't do anything with it. And it's, like, it's weird. Like, it's right there. It's yeah, nothing. This is one of those Battle things that I do. meant where it could have been as long as the first Goku versus Superman. I mean, uh, I get why it wasn't because the 3D animation ben. cost more budget than back then. Then you just got but... fact checked. Fortnite Battle Royale came out in September 26th of 2017. Yep. So, this was this episode before or after? After. Sure. This was a 2018 episode. Oh, okay. Never mind then. But uh, you get anyway. Anyway, Ben. Anyway, Ben. Wait, you, uh, yeah. Where let me, you let me on, on it. I'm trying to think. So, I'm either going to put it at the top of it was fine or the bottom because there are stuff that I really like, but the stuff that disappoints feels like it could have been easily fixed. And I, I will. RGS is going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this up as well. This fight could have been a lot more brutal in terms of one-on-one combat. There should have been a bit more effacence on that, but. You know, that's just me. So either at the bottom of top, it was fine, or bottom of pretty damn good. Gizmo, you're up. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree that the... Uh, I, I kind of agree that the, the one-on-one battles could have been a lot more brutal. Like, But uh, stuff like the music not fitting, I disagree with. Like, But I, look, I, I agree that maybe like something like an orchestra maybe have fit a lot better. But the way it was, the way they uh, they added in the rap, the, the 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 slow the slow rap, I think it, it fit just as well. Considering these are two hulking ass titans, like of course they would actually be. Of course, the guys like this would be slow. You know, like I'm yeah, not gonna, okay. I'm not, I'm like, not gonna they, lie. I have this song on my playlist. Like okay, they can catch up to guys like Spider Man and the Flash, but honestly, these are. At the end of the day, these are just powerhouse uh, powerhouses that rely on more on strength. So it made sense just, why they had a song like that. Did you just compare Spider Man the no, Flash? No, no because Thanos, <laughs> if Thanos could keep up with someone like the <laughs> Spider Man, and, the, yeah. and uh, Dark Side could keep up with someone like the Flash, is all I'm saying. Yeah, that's fair. Because these, those speaking, two are like joking. the more speedy guys in their universes. Right. Not counting uh, so, Quicksilver, but. Uh, well, the, the so like other we... stuff like the headbutt, the Thanos copter, the planet, literally planet busting each other like in the face, and I I think it was also great. But one thing, another thing that I really really disagree with with everyone else is the death because, okay, sure there could have been a cycle where it showed like freeze frames of like different deaths from Deathpool, but I feel like it's better that they didn't show it and just left it up to the imagination because okay yeah it's really weird that he's dead just by a gunshot from Deadpool. But then, making you think, oh, it could have been worse. It should have been worse. I think that's what's. I think that's what's good about it because it only makes you think, what could be worse after that? Okay, a gunshot. Then maybe a few stabbings. Then maybe an explosion. Then maybe Lady Death joining in with one of those attacks. Then maybe his entire army like betraying him or something like that. It makes you think, of, like what could have been worse, which I actually like about that. It makes you. It makes you imagine what could have been worse after that, and then after that, maybe, and after that. 
And then the last one is just him dying of a heart attack because he sees Deadpool, Deadpool you know, doing the do with uh, Lady Like, Death. yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe that could have been actually worse because <laughs> he sees it as, like, the most pitiful way to go out or something like that. But, uh, honestly, I would put it on... I would put it, it's time for a death battle right below Rainbow Dash versus Starscream. Alright, uh, RGS, you're up. It was just disappointing, man. It was, like, genuinely disappointing to me. Mm -hmm. I understand that there are people that like it, and it's fine. I just think it's a very much of a disappointment to the characters and to the people excited for it, because for, an, for, an, for a finale, it's just meh. It's just very meh, and that's why I would dare say put it in it was fine, but I think it should be placed in it could have been worse, because it mm. fails ultimately as a finale to me. I will say, I will defend the music choice. I think if it didn't have the lyrics at first, it would have been fine. Like, the hard beat, the hard build-up, of boom, ba, da, tsh, that would work with the lyrics. Mm. And then yeah. at the end, you added the lyrics. That would be better, because it hides the both of them up as they're getting bigger and stronger, and the chorus would hide them up. And uh, the the sound design, the impact is kind of terrible. Um, it doesn't feel like there's momentum behind it, especially when they're big. It does kind of feel like it still played with the idea that they were normal size, but they just made them bigger to make it seem grander than it is. I would have maybe have preferred an emphasis on more one-on-one uh, -on -one combat, especially since Dark Side as a character, because he doesn't exert effort. That's why I like the headbutt, because he didn't exert effort. He just bolted it. So seeing him do small things like... Uh, Lifting one hand to smack him away, or like booting him while while not even moving his uh, his hands would be really interesting. Where Thanos as a warrior actually uses all of his limbs and stuff, that would have been cool. You know, RGS, and, you say that, and then in the Injustice Two promo for Dark Side, he just bitch slaps Blue Beetle, and he just goes down like a like a wimp. And well, yeah, that's because I imagine Dark Side is that powerful that. It's like, Whoa, just... Dark side. So yeah. awesome. It, it's really cool because he has a lot of power behind his something that shouldn't mean a lot to most of us, but he has a lot of power, so it, it feels like everything. And the Omega Sanctum, it's fine to say, yeah, I thought the death was fine, but I think it ultimately disappointed because we should have seen different death. It's fine to have an imagination, but you should uh have a couple of deaths before you have Deadpool come in. Or if you're going to have Deadpool come in, don't have him shoot him in the, in like the, the chest, shoot him in the head. Have it be more yeah. impactful. Yeah, yeah at, least let have, like, at least have like, at least have him shoot him a few times, like two times in the chest and then one in the head. Like, and yeah. just in the chest? And then, and then Deadpool just be like, see Thor, I went for the head this time. <laughs> yeah. That would, <laughs> that that would have worked. Great. You know? That would have worked. Yeah. It shows yeah, that makes me uh, more mad. If anything, Deadpool's thing should have been the last death because that's a great humiliation to him because I don't think we had gotten to the point in the comics where Thanos has gotten over Lady Death. So the half Deadpool put two in the chest and then one in the head while well, saying that funny uh, C4, it did go for the head this time. And then that would be good. That would just be genuinely good. And then we pan out to Dark Side's like, chin on his cheek, lightly amused saying that this is one of your many deaths. I look forward to seeing how you suffer more, and then that's the uh, top. That's so good, though. That makes me more sad. Anyway, where are we putting this? Okay, so uh, um, I'm, I'm going to put it above. It was fine. Kevin, you said the same. RGS, I think yours was at the bottom to it could have been worse. Yeah. Um, Alex, yours was a top of Winter Soldier, and we got one vote for it at the bottom. So let's I think it's good to leave it where it is. Yeah, what do we say? Just leave it where it is. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's All right. see what the Wheel of Morality will teach us. Oh, God. Wheel what of Morality. Is it going to turn, be turn, next? turn. Show us the lesson we should learn. Oh, we got an interesting one, actually. Oh! oh, okay. oh that's that's, 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 that's got to be an interesting one. That's one I don't remember if it was good or not. Hmm. Oh, if Seamus were here, he would say... Hey, oh, I don't oh, remember if this is good. I don't remember, I remember who wins, so I don't know clearly. if this is good. It's Jay. <laughs> it's interesting. I remember it being one that I liked, but okay. I'm going to put it up now. This is going to be an interesting one. 
So which season is this? Remind me. Season four. It was season okay. four. Is that the time when they switched the Death Battle logo and intro? Yes, <laughs> I want to say. This is when they had both the Screw Attack and Rooster Teeth logos, I think. I think my brain, I'm, I, we literally just watched the intro and I don't remember. <laughs> Sub Zero. It's not an intro, he's not asking. Yes. And this as is... he, he himself said that in his own game. Well, Beehive is... said that. I will say, this is kind of a weird matchup, Dog. because for one side, you got, like, an ice ninja, and the other, you got an alien ice Ice fighter. assassin. Ice assassin, ice yes. Warrior. Remember, guys, I mean, I'm, I've, while he I is, he looks like a ninja, but he's not a ninja. Uh, remember, this is, when, this is remember when it turned out that it was Quan Chi who killed the Shirai Ryu? Mm. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Does anybody remember the jankness that was Mortal Kombat 4? I do. I literally have uh, a meme cut where it's uh, Quan Chi coming in and slacking. Uh, yeah, Quan Chi just comes in and smacks Sub Zero on the back in his ending. <laughs> and then Scorpion just uses telekinesis to lift him up and then make him explode. You are I love those cutscenes, by the way. I love those cutscenes. Look at it. <laughs> Look at Park Man. Yeah, Lord. Look at Park Man. <laughs> <laughs> so hard and got so far. And then it turned out it. But and... in the end, does it even matter? <laughs> and then Scorpion killed him. Oh my god, I'm on fire! Bet, 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 bet. And then he turns into Noob Cybot. What the <laughs> fuck? It's Robot Chicken! <laughs> Yeah, that was a short room. Kwai Liang, who... Scorpion, wasn't it? Kwai oh, wait, Liang. no, that was Dorkly. Yeah. That was a Dorkly one. Kwai Liang in, um, in that... And what Mortal Kombat uh, animated movie is voiced by a terrible voice actor. Especially compared to Steve Bloom, who voiced, um, Bihan in, in the previous movie, Scorpion's Revenge. Yeah, you tend to just make him Kwai Liang because he was one in, uh... Uh, X. And somehow Damn. Johnny Cage survives that. He's yes. built different. Yes. Mm. Built Johnny different. Cage is built to take on Elder Gods. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I mean, he's got that power. He's got the green. Oh, look at that. Yep. Oh, that's such a good brutality. Look at that. Yeah, about that time, everyone had a teleporting ability. Drop mm -hmm. uh, uh, kick! Oh, yeah. What the Love fuck? The, uh, oh, yeah, that made sense, actually. Okay, Sub-Zero yeah. jobs out of the uh, the combat kids, and yet and they're the ones who ultimately take on El Elder Ga ultimately take on corrupted Shinnok and win. He's getting yes. old. But... but, but, but but they get jobbed out to him. To fucking it, the whole zero. point was to, the whole point was to be training. So it's like, oh yeah, I guess know. Really I know that was the whole point, but still, I agree. It was dumb. Oh look at that! I love that one. <laughs> Wait, where's the hurricane? I love this where's... one. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> with his own spine. No, with with not only oh, his spine, but also his skull. Ooh. Oh man! Sub -Zero oh, must be a huge, Damn! Sub Zero must be a huge fan of the uh, Predator movies. There's a time where they actually switched the spine Damn. fatality with Scorpion. Yeah, uh, that was <laughs> bullshit, though. That was weird, man. Ooh, eh, that X-ray was okay. Anyone in Mortal Kombat can do that. It's still impressive. I was oh, gonna defeated, say that's... defeated Batman, defeated Batman. Yeah, yeah. Mortal Kombat that's versus still... DC is strange. Yeah, it's sort of kind of canon. Nope, nobody, here, but... nobody likes that but, game really. But here's the thing. Yeah, they do. It's here's just, it, it plays here's great. The thing, Alex. It's the that people. It actually hate. makes sense that Sub Zero is able to beat Batman. Oh yeah, I know that. Predator can no, also I'm be that. I'm that mention, 
I want to mention, but for whatever reason, the European version had the uncensored fatalities yeah, I remember that. in Mortal uh, Kombat versus bottle. DC, but not the US. The US yeah. had the censored fatalities. What the yeah, fuck is this backwards what, bullshit? That's what a lot of people got a lot of people bothered was not only the the one move that Joker had was censored, but all the other moves were also Honestly, in treatment. Hot take. I think the censored Joker one's better because you don't see the head exploding. The, the, you know, head it's head. Your head. the head it didn't oh, explode head. in the original. It, no, it didn't. No, it, it didn't. I'm just yeah. saying, like, because you don't see it, you don't know, and it's great. You just hear yeah. the body dropping. Oh, and then uh, no, I, no, but that, that, that's what that MK is a bread and butter though. Is showing you everything. The fact that they thought that showing yeah, you less Joker is more. The Joker flag thing is kind of. Yep, Sub Zero became Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> Uh, all right, kill, let's uh, let's talk about how good the Killer Instinct reboot sequel is because that was fucking it's great. It's awesome. It's great. Play it, Pretty buy it, episode. do whatever you want with it. Put it up your butt. It's great. Ten out of ten. Yes. I'll have sex with any Steve. day. Yeah, that's accurate. And a distress signal that came from um evil Walmart. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I love how they keep bringing that joke back. It's a good joke. It is. It's fitting, too. Excuse me. I love how everybody in in the uh, I love how everybody in the Killer Instinct universe has as a very as a hate boner for Ultra Tech except for their most loyal people. Yeah, it's Makes so sense. funny. It's like who does Ultra Tech really have to defend them when everybody is literally gunning for them? Their parent Money. company, by and large. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. Got everything you need and so much more. Honestly, I really love Colossus' theme from Killer Instinct. He's really cool, yeah. I I also love his theme. Like that, da, 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 da. that's just cool because that works with his eyes. Looks cool. The effects see, in the game are so see, good. In another realm, this is how you do iconic keyframe animations. They're sharp, snappy, but they're easy to identify, so you could tell what is what. Also, please stop making your fatalities super graphic just for super graphic. Actually, make them cool. No, yeah. Actually, no, that's part of the charm, though. If anything, there should no, be... No, here's the thing, yeah, though, no, because... Of... Here's the thing, like, they started torturing their employees by making them watch, like, live leak shit. You don't do that. Is that true? To make I mean, I've never heard of that. Oh, that's that. true. That, that, that's that was Neil Druckmann who did that. Yeah. Oh, yeah that was that was that. There was well, a different... There Here's was a the different thing, thing with uh, Nether Realm. Regardless of whether that's true or not, it just fun fatalities are are awesome. You know, if you're just going for the gore factor, you're gonna start missing out on the fun shit. Like one of the yeah. biggest. To be fair, to, in, to be fair uh, if they do more, if they're allowed to be more it, gory, I think it allows for more imagination. Like for example, here's, here, here's like my the spine, take. There's like the spine thing, like when Sub Zero froze his opponent. And hit him and shattered him with the skull attached to the spine. Yeah, that's here's cool. here's my take on here's my take. There's a balance between the gore and the fun factor. You need to balance that sort of scale between mm -hmm. them. Because if you go far on one end, it's just too disgusting. There's no fun in it. But if you go on the other, it's less gory. It's fun, but it's not it's not Mortal Kombat. There, oh, wow. to find that perfect there are some neat gory fatalities in MK11, but it's just like a lot of those are are of the too gory thing. Oh wow, yeah. he's ripping out been... every single blood cell in his body. Yeah. That one's actually we're cool. Gonna, but some of them, I guess we're going to be here make... for another forty minutes. Some of them <laughs> don't make sense to me, though. Like for example, Jackie's fatalities. I feel like that's more of a mechanic they could have taken advantage of instead of a. You mean the selfie? Fatality. No, no, right. not that's that's Cassie. Jackie is oh, like uh, right. Jax's daughter. For example, when uh 
what she does is in one of the fatalities is that uh, one has her shooting the 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 sticky bomb.